welcome 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 another week has passed and we're up to the scraper again guessing how many games are going to be placed into the board game geek arena and we start off with a raid defu thanks for the raid how is everyone how was your how was your stream you guys have been streaming for ages it's uh it's been a great great night wow <laughs> I, I haven't even started the stream and we, when we've got and we've got a raid how is everyone how is um how is the rest of your stream um <laughs> too many emotes i don't think there's such a thing as too many emotes <laughs> keep it going so what we'll do whilst the um while everyone comes in um games night app we are a new streamer we've been going for probably about two weeks um uh two maybe three weeks now um this is our actually yeah it would be three um we've been uh, going through um, promoting our application that we're building for board gamers but mainly just playing playing games enjoying ourselves and, and immersing ourselves in this amazing community that's out there so um, yeah it's absolutely amazing um, thanks to everyone uh, I was watching Dfube earlier today so um, we're gonna have uh, I'll kick off the the uh, the, uh, the script um, so actually that's uh, a wrong thing to do what we need to first do you get to see some code here, so it's... Uh, and I've done the same thing again, haven't I? We're going to do some nano. Um, what we need to do is actually figure out how many... Uh, how many pages we're going to scrape. Thanks for the subscribe, Colorfly. Um, so we've got 1,311 1, pages that we're actually going to scrape through. Um, so I just need to come into this quickly last week there was uh 1309 there's about 100 per page so we're looking probably around about the 200 mark so we're gonna save this this is the boring part once it's done it's done um so now we've got that this is the script running so it's doing a lot of amazing wonderful things in the background but basically it's it's going and grabbing all the games that have been added um we have to actually go through the entire database page by page because some games are added so i think the first week we started streaming it there was a game from 1980s uh it was 1984 or something that was added so obviously there's games that uh have been created and and you know no one really knew about them and, and so they added them in so um quickly catch up on the chat um how is everyone going so the raid love to hear you in chat um uh defube uh welcome all um too easy stop spamming emotes <laughs> um who who won um who, who won in the end i know that uh there was a, a couple of uh point buys that uh threw out your your, your numbers but um uh, lots of great chats and you were eating i think when i went to start making dinner you were eating some um some food so uh, the, uh milky way the um the, the the nuts and oh and the jerky and the jerky that, that did sound really really good so um <laughs> nice short short stream was only seven hours um node uh beef jerky and some weird puff things yes it's were they were they peanuts or were they just um with just you, you don't you don't know what they were so um so what we're gonna do i'm gonna chuck up the ubuntu above my head here so you should be able to see above my head is the um the the stream itself um and that way when we go into the game um you'll actually still be able to see um everything that's going on um, I've actually forgotten to hit record, so we're just going to grab the download from Twitch afterwards and upload that to, to, to YouTube. We do add everything to YouTube afterwards, um, and we put everything down. So these are our socials. Um, nah, they were like corn puffs with caramel on it. It was good though. I, 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 well, I'm in Australia, so those kind of things um, we, we're less likely to get. I'm just going to quickly fix up my scraper here so you can see um, when that scraper comes on. Um, we should be able to scroll down to the bottom. There we go. So you can actually start seeing the scraper values start coming in. So throughout the night, um, those scraper values will actually increase. Is it, if it's too small, just let me know. Just a heads up, some people get got timed out for the emote spam 
Um, how do I fix that? Uh, once more, new to stream, so definitely is something that I am uh, looking at. Emote only chat. I don't have emote only chat or anything like that. Um, is there a timeout? If you click on the the names, oh, okay, yep. Uh, on timeout, so click on the chat. Wow, there is there is a lot of people in here. Hopefully, um, we will be able to live up to it. I'll open up Tabletop Simulator. You can see that we are going to jump into Canvas. Um, if you haven't played it before, it is a fantastic game. Um, uh, what I'll do, Defube, is I'll actually make you a mod. Um, and therefore, I've just made you a mod. Hopefully, you'll be able to fix everything in there. Um, I'll quickly jump into some teach around uh, this game, um, and we'll just jump into the into the actual game itself. Um, just so you're aware, we are going to be playing. Uh, thanks to you, um, we are going to be playing um, uh, Dice Throne later uh, this evening. Um, I've got another friend, Callum, joining us. Me, if anyone wants to join us, feel free to jump in to our discords. Um, I'll add the Discord link. Uh, <laughs> Colorfly, you're free. Um, uh, hey, hey, legends, um, and we'll jump in. Yes, uh, for I'm not sure if people saw it before. I'm wearing my Superman shirt. It even does have a cape. So um, I was walking around the shops before, making sure that I had enough beer for tonight. Um, and we're good. Cool. Turns out, can't drink beer whilst talking. So. Um, I'll give a quick teach in it. Um, so if we jump over to the teach screen, so basically in Canvas we are emerging artists trying to be seen by a painting, oh, by painting uh, um, three pieces of art for critics to review. Um, I enjoy this game because it's it's highly creative, and the resulting artwork has created some truly hilarious stories. Last week when we streamed it, the trying to explain what our artwork was and our our motivations just was hilarious. So in the game itself, um, I'll qu quickly hit the spam the setup button. In the game, we're basically gonna um, be taking turns, drafting cards, and creating our artwork. On our turn, super, super simple, we have two choices. We either take a card from the um, draw pile. If it is not in one of these first rows, we actually have to use our, um, uh, not talent, it's um, inspiration. Um, getting our inspiration on there um, and uh, the other option we have is to create artwork um, this is the expansion so you'll notice these actually are stackable so they actually overlap each other which is just such an amazing thing but in the new edition there's actually the flipping version so um, you can actually flip these particular cards when they've got this tiny little symbol above and we'll zoom in on it so you can see when it's got this tiny little symbol above that's the normal edition this is the flipping edition um, super, super cool. We're all trying to match up our, um, our talents and our, um, you know, score highly. Um, that's pretty much the game. So what I'm going to quickly do is refresh and I'm just going to jump into a solo version unless anyone wants to jump into stream and join me. Uh, so canvas. Um, I've been playing in pretty hard mode, so I've actually been using all of the decks, um, shuffling them up. And then do the setup. Um, I've been talking to the developer about this. They are RTI is just an amazing developer. They do some really really cool things, um, and how they've set up this game and set up in TTS is awesome. Um, oh, you're a dev as well, so you work in Node. Um, yeah, so the uh, ooh, we'll move over to screen share. Um, so app.gamesnight.com uh, dot fun down the bottom. That's the application we're built. Um, and that's actually built on a mean JS stack. So we're using Meteor.js. So if you know Node, then you know, ooh, you don't like Node. It's, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's interesting. So, uh, uh, Legends, you're free. Uh, as in free, you want to play or free? <laughs> you said a love heart afterwards, so. <laughs> um, no, I don't like Node. I mean, I know Node, but I'm a Go dev. Ah, yes, yes. Um, I don't know Go too much. Um, I I actually taught myself development years and years ago through um, through 
working and, and playing with it. So um, I mostly know web development technologies and C sharp, like, like old school kind of text. Even though you can still use, you know, C++ and all that kind of stuff now. So um, you got, oh, you got timed out for your emote spams. Oh, so you're free. Free now. Yes, I get you. Um, cool. So we're going to jump in. Um, so in the solo modes, I'll actually quickly show you. Um, if you go, if you all haven't played this game before, um, it has some really, really cool um, team components, but uh, not sorry, not team competitive components. But you can actually always play it in the solo variant. So you got two solo variants: the painting with Vincent um, and the solo puzzle. Uh, I've worked on C Sharp for five years. Um, back in the day, I do DevOps now, so I mostly write scripts. So most tools I use are generally in Go. Um, well, yeah, so I'm a tech exec, so I do high level stuff. So I, I mostly, mostly just have meetings now. <laughs> it's, it's the other side. So I'm playing World of Warcraft pandemic board game um, on table while watching you. Oh yeah, nice, beautiful. Um, I do want to give that a go. Um, we actually, we're still in lockdown at the moment, but we just got news today that we're going to get out of lockdown at the end of the week so we can actually have friends over, which is fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. So we're just going to play uh, the solo puzzle um, and let's just just jump straight into it. So um, we've got the repetition. This is an absolute... Oh, this one's not too bad. Um, then we've got alignment. That to the left of. Um, okay, so basically we just have the triangles to the left of um, the squares. Tint, we want to have two and one. But okay, so it doesn't have to be, pardon me, it doesn't have to be exact. So uh, Legends, who are you playing uh, Pandemic with? Just, uh, you're, you got friends over or is it, again, I'm not even sure if you can play that by yourself. Um, what's this one? Oh, it's one of each. Cool variety. You have one of each. Wow, they're not going to be playing real nicely together. So let's jump into it. Um... Wow, so first turn, jumping into something special. Actually, this one completes this one by itself. So definitely going to grab this one as my first card. And I'm actually just going to play out in this area so you, you can all see. Um, so we'll refresh the art. Um, uh, I played with my brothers earlier, but right now my second game is uh, just playing... Oh, you're playing two heroes. Nice. Pandemic does play quite nicely uh, as a solo when you're controlling um, multiple. But I do want to try and get some of these uh, silvers. Um, they actually provide a little bit of... Um, a little, quite a bit of extra scoring. But at the same time, it's probably also good to wipe the table every now and then. Now, that's not a card that I'm going to want. Um, this card actually scores for me straight away, but unfortunately it would block off my purple. Um, oof. But these two cards together actually would give me quite a few points. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn these. So in um, in solo play mode, in um, we're doing the solo art. We're creating the best piece we possibly can rather than putting on the cards because ultimately it means nothing to anyone. What you do is you spend the same amount and you actually discard those cards from the desk. And we want to grab this card here. Um, we then refresh the artwork as per normal. Refresh and refresh um, and then I actually want to grab the first now because it's in the first column when I grab that first column I actually get one of these inspiration back now max uh, of five card in your hand so it is a bit more thinky you can't just um, uh, constantly draw cards so I'm starting to get pretty good up there when you make an artwork as well um, it is important to note that you have to use exactly three cards to make an artwork. So it's not something you can kind of just put what you want and then you're done. Um, you, you do have to try and get the exact amount in there. So, um, uh, hmm. 
We can keep drawing. I don't think at this point I actually want to create an artwork with these. So that's definitely going to be on one piece of artwork. And these are going to be on another. But this third, this one, I probably want to try and get some... Um, some. Oh, actually, this is perfect, except for it blocks up the green. It does flip, but it's the green that I want in order to score for that one. So... This would do pretty well. It's got the red, but it's going to be covered. I'm only going to get one for it, but that's not a bad thing. So the question here is what other artwork do I want to get? Um, so what time is it over there? Um, Diffube and Elifly, um, with your stream, you would have just you would have just finished your stream. What did you do after the food? Like that was that was still probably about two hours ago. I went and had dinner, made dinner and had dinner in that time. And I went up to the shops. <laughs> um so we're gonna look what's gonna score well for us. And this is annoying, so we're gonna grab these and we're gonna move them up to here. Just because we want them to be nice and centered. And I'll have to reset the dots. Boom, boom. It's not perfect, but it does give us what we need. Um In Legends, are you in America as well or are you in a, in another part of the world? Um, ideally we want to try and that's so that's going to get two it's actually going to get two points it's going to get this one and it's going to get that one twice so that's actually a really really good score for this one um, but ideally I would like to add this card to it now that's going to be that's going to be pretty good the question that I need to answer and that could actually go underneath it so the question I need to answer, is there anything in here that I want to keep? Now, that's actually a really good card right there. That one is a good card, but I do want to burn these because it's not really giving me anything that I want. Except for that one. I do want that one. So let's let's do that. We're going to burn these two cards here. And we're going to grab this one. Now, that's going to be great on here. Uh, it's not going to be great on there. That was an absolute waste of a card. Why didn't you warn me not to get that card? <laughs> um, so I kind of refreshed the artwork. That was horrendous. What was I thinking? This is perfect. That's a great card. That's amazing. Or what I want. Actually, that would score beautifully with this card and that card but once more it's blocking up but that can be flipped over so we can actually flip this card over it those two together would provide a great piece of art so i'm going to actually need to create at some point um an artwork this is scoring me nothing from this one um, two, two, it's scoring me one from the triangles and two from the, so one repetition and two alignment. It's not going to score me any tint and it's not going to score me any variety though. Um, probably, probably less confu uh, confusing if we have the, uh, music as maybe something... Yeah, that's probably good. There we go. Um, so. Hmm. <laughs> so it's a absolutely crazy game. We want. So this one could be flipped over. That's good to know. Um, so that's useful only in certain circumstances 
So we could create this artwork and get rid of this piece. Um, and we might even do that. Now what does that what does that look like when it's placed down? So that's gonna score for that. And that's gonna score for this. So it'll be we've got extreme mess and it kind of it kind of looks like the nightmare is also on the fork. So extreme mess mesh mess. That is our first artwork. Um it it came to life because I am incapable of wearing a white shirt and eating pasta because the white shirt will no longer be white. So I was paying my homage um, where the artwork is getting terror, my shirt is getting terrorized and the waves are washing it up. Uh, maybe I, 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 it's let's let's go with that. That's maybe the probably the closest we're going to get. So in terms of scoring, we have repetition. We get one set of repetition from this. Um, we have uh, alignment, so that is really good. In fact, we have alignment. Why have I been disconnected? We have alignment twice. Now that's a, a really really annoying thing. So multiplayer, jump straight back into it. And we'll see where we're up to. Alright, uh, that's good. So I just need to remake that artwork. That's not the... Is that the same background? Yes, it is. Beautiful. So, um, we have Extreme Mess. Um, it is, as we said before, it scores 1 on repetition. It scores twice on alignment. And it does not score on anything else. So we don't have all of the pieces. Um, and it doesn't even score on that silver, unfortunately. So uh, we go back to... We don't need the setup. So, yeah. Um, so we're going to go... Um, two, two. Uh, this was a piece that we wanted. Now we wanted these because that was going to really, really add to it. Um, if I flip that over, we've got that, we've got that, and we've got this. We do those three together. That's going to score on the double, going to score on that double. That's going to score really, really well. So, um, yeah. So we're going to, first off, use those two to chuck away these. And I'll grab this card. We then refresh. I'm going to grab this card. Which actually gets me one back. This is going to go underneath. And then we're going to sit it over top. And then we're... So then we refresh the artwork. I then have to spend... Ooh, another two. But the question we have there... Do I want any of those? I actually think I want this one. Do I want this one? This is, ooh, 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 no, I do want this one. Do I want this one? That's going to not really change anything. So yeah, so we'll grab that one and I get an extra. We refresh the artwork. I'll also grab this one and I get an extra. Um, that's five cards in my hand. So I have to play, I have to make an artwork. But luckily we have planned this out. And we have Calm Connection. So, Calm Connection. How did Calm Connection come to life? Well, oh my gosh, this hurts my brain. Um, <laughs> calm Connection came into being because we were... It just, it just popped into our brain. We saw the connection, we saw the synergy, and we just knew that the stacking stones and the stacking of those cars just really kind of brought that into life. Uh, that's that's the 
That's the best I can do right now. Maybe I need a few more drinks in me before we actually <laughs> get some good stories around them. All right. Um, so how is Calm Connection going to score? So on the double triangle, it is going to score once. We've got two triangles. On the left of, it's going to score twice. And on the this uh, on the tint, it's not going to score anything. But we're go we're, we're not doing we're not going to do too bad with the tint on this one. So eh, maybe not. Um, and then one of each, it definitely does not have one of each. We are missing the shading. But when it comes to uh, gold, we've got two gold, so it's going to automatically score two extra gold for us. So. It is um, certainly more popular. It is the uh, same amount of awards from the critics. Extreme Mess and the Calm Connection are, are scoring pretty well with the critics, but the, uh, the, the, the audience seems to like it better. They've given their own extra, um, <laughs> extra push to it. So we've got one more artwork to create. Um, what are we going to do? So... Uh, we've already maxed out the blue. I uh, I don't think we need to score any more. I would love to try and get a third, if not fourth, red. So if we can get... Oh, let's refresh this. We actually might pivot on this. So we can actually get some extra points from this card if we wanted to. But it's in the red position, so it's not going to help us unless we flipped this one. So I'm actually, I definitely am going to take this one because it's going to score me a red straight away um but this one's pretty interesting because it actually gives me the opportunity to score the triangles and if i go for the triangles if i go hard at the triangles and i think we've got a pretty good opportunity here so i've got two cards oh, i've got three cards all right so i can only grab two more cards i definitely think this is one of them And I'll then leave my green and my yellow open. That's not going to be good for any of these cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to just throw caution to the wind. We're going to grab all these cards and we're going to chuck them over there. We're going to refresh that artwork. Oh, sorry. And I was... Uh, paying for and grabbing this one. Sorry. So uh, it's going to get covered by this. So now we're going to score a red. So that's great. I want to try and get two or one or two more triangles. Now I am up the creek without a paddle. Um, because I spent all of my inspiration. Chat, you meant to warn me against doing stupid things. This is what happens when I'm alone and I do stupid things. What stupid, stupid things did I do? Well, I made it so I can't really create a good art. <laughs> And uh, at the moment, I've got uh, illuminated perspective and vast direction, which ironically, actually, well, not ironically, coincidentally, almost articulate the pain I'm in, in that I have a lot of options, but no capacity to do any of them. So it's, uh, it's definitely one of the fun ones to go through. Um, what are we going to do? Hmm. Well, apparently I love my framing, but I don't think framing is going to help us in this instance. Um, this card would be perfect if I could only grab it. Got four cards. I'm going to have to... Can I make an artwork? So this one can make an artwork. It's just not a good artwork. 
<laughs> um, do that, we do that, and then we do this. Um, I think that's the best I'm going to be able to hope for. It's a vast direction with a lot of mess in there. Um, doesn't matter which order this goes in, so let's, uh, let's start doing it. Let's start putting this together. Uh, we have vast direction out third and final piece. It is what happens when you let your brain. Oh, actually, it's when you don't consult your brain. Actually, you end up nowhere this way here. It is exactly that. I uh, was daydreaming. I wasn't thinking about things. In fact, I wasn't thinking about the game. I was thinking about the, the colorful whales in the sky and I let myself down. Now in terms of scoring repetition I was able to get a repetition in there. In terms of to the left of triangle to the left of well it doesn't have any squares so that doesn't occur. Uh, it also doesn't have any tint it doesn't have any variety um, but it does score to silver so the fans almost liked it but it definitely was not the show-stopping piece i was able to do last week so scoring on this very very simple um we organize or organize everything into our colors and then we're able to consult the chart to actually figure out what we need so for red we had um Three, so that scores us 11 points. So three ribbons, the number above it is 11. Boom, 11. So then on the blue, we had four ribbons. So that scores us the full 13 points. We had no green and no purple. So we were definitely, definitely not in it. Um, for every silver you have, you score two. Uh, for every gold you have, you score three. Um, and then we're left with a total. This was certainly not a best in show performance. Um, it wasn't terrible though, um, if my brain catches up. So 10 plus 11 is 21 plus, so that is 34. I promise I'm better with math than that sound that I show on that on stream. 34 that's it's 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 a respectable score uh for a solo mode um no we actually want this one down the bottom 34 is the top it is absolutely the top of honorable mention um but it is not in a run it's a comes not even a runner-up it is all best in show so i did do a stream last week um which was uh, a best in show performance um so we'll uh definitely have to uh, go back sometime and do that so chat um we're still waiting on our um on callum um any votes would we like to do the same again is anyone actually keen to play if you are jump into discord hit me up um and we can um add you in um so i can either do the solo mode painting with vincent um, or the solo puzzle again. So we just did a solo puzzle. Um, how solo uh, painting with Vincent changes is that you still put the... Um, uh, so in a variant, you play with Vincent. Um, Vincent starts with four, but they never complete a painting and will not score. Um, you take the first turn, and on Vincent's turn, they shake and toss the inspiration, and based, based on the number that they get, they take those cards. If no cards lands faced up, Vincent selects the card furthest from the deck. Um, Vincent uh, dis uh, discards the selected art card from the game and takes inspiration tokens that were on it. Remember, Vincent still gets a turn if you complete a painting as your action. So they still basically still get that same 
So it's, it's kind of almost like an auto mode instead of a solo puzzle mode. So the solo puzzle mode is really, really fun. But um, let's, let's um, if there hasn't been any votes in the system, let's actually kick it off with a, another. Um, we'll kick it off with our Paint with Vincent. Um, I don't think I've actually played the Paint with Vincent mode before. Um, but it seems pretty straightforward. Um, man's face up. The second card is discarded and Vincent gains the inspiration that was on it. Um, does he put the inspiration on the ones that... Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. So every face up one he puts the inspiration on. The only difference in this mode, because obviously there is two instead. So painting with Vincent, he actually starts with six inspiration. Um, results in face up. Uh, if there is odd on the face up he takes the bottom row and if it's uh, uh, even he takes the top row so that's the only difference so I'll show you how that works when we jump into it but let's quickly refresh the board we're going to chuck it into hard mode again with a bit of the duffel I actually should look what that deck was up there. I haven't actually looked at what that deck is before. So um, so we're playing with Vincent mode. So he's over here. Grab them all together. And that is Vincent. So I'm going to go first. Let's actually look at the... So we've got repetition again. So that is fun. We have variety again. Okay, okay. That doesn't score too highly, but repetition does. So we definitely want to be trying to get that. Try and get uh, four repetition if we can. Um, balance. Oh, equal number of. So this is we want to have the equal number of uh, triangles and shade score. If the painting has an equal number of triangles and um, and tinting now. On the right example, that's probably not a good example because they've got the equal... Oh, no, it is equal amounts. Equal amounts of zero. Zero is equal amounts. Oh, I was, see, I was going to criticize the developer and then I uh, my brain kicked in and said, you're an idiot. Uh, so I'm glad we did that. So above my head, just a reminder, we are doing the um, Board Game Geek data pool so we actually are going into the board game geek using their apis they have open apis to to grab us all so we're not doing anything illegal um and we do this at a nice slow pace so it actually does take us about four hours um because we don't want to um slow down the board game geek servers in any way having um the requests go through um it doesn't put too much strain on their servers it puts a little bit of strain on our servers but it's not that much because once more i've slowed it down quite considerably um, and we uh, basically it goes through page by page, finds any games that we don't already have in the system um, and adds them if they do. It also does updates. So if they have been putting any updates were put to it, it'll actually do those updates in there as well. So let's jump into the Vincent mode again. So, um, well, this is definitely something we're going to grab because the reflections mode where we... we we want the repetition. It's going to score us 16 points, but scoring a, a double with that is, is just going to be, it's just going to be beautiful. All right. It's just, it's, it's beautiful and we have to admit it. So let's, ooh, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump straight into it and we're going to skip those two to grab this one. Refresh the card and we're going to roll 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 how many land face up so vincent is going to face one two three four and because it was evens he's going to take i'm pretty sure let's double check because i could be wrong which is more often than not um uh, so uh if the num odd number face up he takes the bottom row saves um, all right, so, which, I don't know, that, like, that's probably, mm, I just closed the window that had everything open on it, didn't I? I did. So we're just going to quickly open that up and restore, so history. Um, nope, we're going to have to just open it up manually, and we'll do that later. Um, I would have actually thought that the, the two meant he would take the bottom one, but okay, um, I'm all right with that. So he's going to take the top one 
and he'll do nothing with it because he's Vincent Van Gogh. Damn it. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So how is everyone tonight? We've got 18 viewers in chat. Um, I have actually this week added the um, the chat uh, functionality. So if you uh, wanted to mark yourself as lurking, um, you can push the uh, exclamation mark lurk, um, which is a term that I've learned in the last two weeks. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, so we've added those commands in there. Um, uh, and we'll, we'll we'll put some stuff in there. We also do have a Discord channel which is in the chat as well. Um, definitely jump in there, have a chat. Um, thanks again for Defube. If you haven't seen them before, definitely check them out. Um, we I will add a link. I have I have not been smart and um, and and created auto buttons. I've created a lot of buttons for everything else, but uh, thanking someone for their um for their for their for their raid um, is not something I've been create. I've created yet. So actually, let's see if I can grab. Oh, copy link. There we go. Um, so definitely, definitely give um, give D for you. I'm aware that most of you actually came from from the, from their channel, um, but uh, so it seems a bit superfluous. But make sure um, give them a. a a follow if you haven't already they're on their way rapidly follow uh chasing the 500 so um we're a long way behind um but uh you know um the channels and the community that's um available here is just absolutely outstanding so if you haven't seen them before um or if you have uh first time to to, to um watching a stream definitely make sure you check out diffube um and some of the other awesome communities that are here so in terms of taking a card, I want us to match, but I want to try and get some of these back. So we're actually going to grab, he's unlikely to grab anything major from there. So I'm actually going to grab this card from a strategic standpoint, because I don't want him to grab any of the cards that I want. So then stop snapping to where I don't want you to roll um, so he's going to place one down there and then he's going to grab this card here beautiful um, mm, I want this one because it's going to give me the triangles the problem is it's going to overact my own that is such an annoyance. Oh, I definitely want that one. So this is going to go with this. For sure. Um, that's one single card. Hmm. In the meantime, what artwork can I create? If I, I want to definitely, I definitely want to try and get the, uh, the four from this one. It's four ribbons. Um, and I think the other one is to get is, is this one here. So... Um, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult to achieve. Just because of the nature of the beast. And I'd have to spend six if I want to claim this one. So I'm guessing we're better off actually waiting a little bit to before we claim it. We're going to grab this one um, just to grab some of that inspiration because that inspiration is definitely going to help us. Now, you can't discard any cards from your hand, so any cards you pick up, uh, you you pretty much have to use. So, rolling is going to chuck one up there, and then they're going to grab this one. Not a card I was entirely attached to, so I'm okay. I definitely, definitely want this card. Now they've only got one, one left, so they're more than likely going to grab this card. <laughs> I could be an absolute pester and 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 take it from them, but I actually also want this card because it will go well with what I've got. So I'm going to do that. So we're going to place two onto here, and we're going to grab this card. 
going to refresh the artwork. He, Vincent is going to. He's 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 well for whatever reason he's going to grab that card. Um, yes, it has a lot on it. Not giving me anything that I really care for though. So definitely need this card. So we are going to stack this up, and Vincent is no doubt going to have a whole bunch of inspiration next turn. So next turn I have to create an artwork. I have no choice. I've got five cards. So before we get into the artwork creation, let's flip and he's <laughs> Vincent's just just not 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 playing it. He's uh just not playing it. So what artwork can we create? Um Tons aren't going to really do much for us. So if we did this. And we had this over the side. This means that the those two are equal to those two. And we get two. So we're going to get red. We're going to get purple. We're not going to get anything for this. And we're missing the square. I think that's that's not a bad trade um considering the other option is over here so um, i definitely think those two are going to be good together so let's create this artwork i am liking i'm liking this background for that i reckon that's a, a pretty good a quiet reflection ah oh, you know what that's i am incredibly impressed with this um how did i how did i come to this this artwork how did this come to life well don't do that now oh, um <laughs> i came to this artwork that was me trying to be posh I didn't do a good job of it quiet reflection um this is what happens when your brain actually follows no sorry when your body and hands and mouse, as an extension of your hand, actually follows your brain's instruction. Uh, quiet reflection. Um, it's actually quite a beautiful piece. It's it's not it's not masterpiece worthy. It doesn't score, and um, I'm pretty sure the critics will certainly have their own opinion um, of, of the artwork. But let's um, let's see what they have to say. So we do have two. So it is going to score one. Um, we do not have variety. Um, we have not done any form of symmetry, um, but we have managed to get some balance in there. So that was that was pretty good. Um, but what we have done is certainly pleased the crowd and given them exactly what they wanted. So that was my first artwork creation. Um, even though I had a didn't actually play anything um it does sing so he's not going to put down this poise and he's finally going to take the um the artwork so let's grab all of these off um and that's that's a familiar one i actually it's, <laughs> we, we used that last game um <laughs> so uh, where are we going to go now there's no more oh there's another gold up here so we definitely want to be a found that claiming the golds super super important um but we need to remember that vincent van gogh has his inspiration back um and he's hoarding that inspiration and he is hoarding um all of the ideas so he's not notoriously known for hoarding any um body parts and we have callum absolutely <laughs> Yes, he, uh, well, no, he's free with his body parts. He likes to give them away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let you jump into, uh, uh, into, <laughs> into TTS. We have the server open. Yep, um, sweet. Would you like me to join you so I can see where you're at? So you absolutely. Absolutely. So this is our second game. Um, I've played one game already in solo mode, and now we're mm -hmm. playing solo mode Vincent. So there's two versions of solo mode. Um, the artwork mode, uh, I, I did... 
Uh, honorable mention. I, I got an honorable mention. It's not the uh, it's not the amazing work best that I did. Show that you were hoping for. Yeah, I, I got the best in show last week, so it was you know, it was certainly an improvement, mm -hmm. but it wasn't you know the best piece of art I have ever uh, uh, put out there. So you're in and you can you're starting to load, and I'll actually um, elevate your remove your permission so that when we start yeah, nice. next, you can actually kick off the game. So I'm actually going to. A couple of this first, bit of, uh, bit of bit of gold ribbons playing for the people. Playing, yeah, yeah, line, yeah, definitely. Petition, and is that what I believe it is? Is that a bit of balance as well? It's 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 a bit of balance, yeah. So we've um we've got 18, 18 viewers in in stream. We actually uh got raided by Defube, um Defube, uh. You'll have to tell me how to pronounce that. Um, we got raided by them literally minutes after we started. I hadn't even had a chance to actually start the script off yet. So um, I've been shouting them out um, and, and we want to make sure we end our stream giving them a huge thanks because that was an amazing um, start to stream. Um, we are... That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, definitely pass that shirt on. We're so excited to have people like yourself in supporting us. So that's really amazing. It is. So I'm just going to turn your volume up a bit. So if you want oh, to give I a quick scream and shout a little bit more, if you like. No, no. That's all fine. good. I just I bumped it up using Discord because you know you can go to 200% in there. Normally, normally we have to quieten you. Um, usually with a gag, but uh... <laughs> the get the, the notorious gag. Or the, yeah, look. Um been walking around all day and i thought i blew up a list of the sales the size of mount kosciuszko on my foot and it's just like it's nice and slow i'm just ready it, to plot ready it, to plot just ready to plot all right well vincent's gonna have his uh have his go so he's um gonna be laying out all of his inspiration because he doesn't know how to, to how to hold his inspiration he just knows how to uh um how to spend it so uh he does this and it is an odd number, so he's going. Oh, does he place this one down and then grab that? I'm guessing he does. That's what he does. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming. Does he make any art? Or does he no, he never makes art. He just, he just collects all the ideas. He has mm -hmm. all the ideas, um, mm -hmm. but he never actually uses it. So, mm -hmm. um, so what are we going to do? We still want to try and get. So this is a great piece um because we do want to try and get i'm thinking we want to get some uh, repetition in there yeah because uh repetition, score repetition yep. scores quite well mm -hmm. um ideally we want to try and score a double and a repetition at some point um mm -hmm. but that's going to be quite difficult when all the triangles are actually f overlapping each other causing no end of pain and suffering for flip. us we can't see and this is why this is why we have the callum absolutely yeah uh, the joys of reflections mate yeah instead of your worry about celebrating you got to do your paper do your work yeah <laughs> i love that that's a that's a, that's a great yeah you got the, the celebrating turns into work <laughs> and and callum you'd be disappointed i have not been framing my artwork um but i do like i mean in this instance here i've had a look at your quiet reflection I, my favorite thing about it is, I mean, you are up against Van Gogh and you're really taking in the other way. Here's the pastels. Yeah. And I love, I'm look, I'm, I'm shocked at the, the, the terrifying monster death wrapped in the background is scary. But the man <laughs> who draws away the attention, that very Van Gogh style. So you, you've, you've done that. He's like, honestly, a, just a monstrous creature. <laughs> 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 it's uh it does start yet yeah, you you want to start singing from a distance um <laughs> so we're gonna go you know what we're gonna go with hmm we've got a double we've got a double and i'm really really going to be leaning heavily into the um into the golds mm -hmm. here so mm -hmm. we've already got a double um and this would override it that's all right i can handle that Mm -hmm. um, get the extra but up. but the problem is that there's actually it's actually going to be double overridden because we've got the red from that and then the green from that. So I actually don't think that that's any use to us in any capacity. Um, mm. But this one is. So we're going to grab this one just so we can get the extra inspiration. Mm -hmm. Van Gogh is going to flip flip his lid. Um, he's going to place his one down and grab this. What did he just take it? An anchor, by the look of it, yeah, an anchor. 
Um, so we definitely want this card. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna splurge with everything because we want to create that artwork right now rather than than later. Grab it. Uh, Van Gogh's gonna have his time at it. He's gonna get. <laughs> he does this a lot. He uh, seems to shun the, uh, the the this top top left hand corner, and it just yeah. piles up. <laughs> So I'm going to create that artwork now. Um, okay. I reckon it's probably a good good opportunity to do so. Well, I'm concerned you're going to lose the double green there. Oh, I had I had not looked at that, but we can. Oh no, we can't. Yeah. Because green's the middle piece, but you are oh. your fifth piece of um, artwork, so you'll actually have to figure out how to yeah. go around that. Yeah. So, so we have I to... recommend you starting here, maybe build. Oh no, starting. Here, Oh, I didn't even know. No, it's not as good as you think, mate. You're it's not. We're trouble. actually in trouble because of this, this damn green overlay. It's yeah, always you can the go freaking this way. way the silver, I guess. Yeah. And keep the greens. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Then, yeah, that's not. A that's flip, not a flipper. Man. That's not a flip either. Yeah. But no one is, but it's it's yeah. It's not gonna help too much. We're gonna get some. We'll get some silver from it. Mm -hmm. Um. And yeah. So this is. This is definitely going to be a more palatable. Mm -hmm. This is what so happens what when... Um, want to go, I reckon you'd probably want to go like that. Because then you've got... Oh, no, you lose no, the green. No, I'll lose the green. Yeah. yeah. That's monstrous. It is. You're in strife here, my friend. You, it you, is. Van Gogh is absolutely bamboozled you. And he you're in he has. He has certainly bamboozled me. Um, I definitely think that that's going to be the better choice. So that going over mm -hmm. top... The question is what's going to go underneath, and, and I just think that, unfortunately, we're just going to have to waste a card. Um, so... Could you go back there? No, not really. Not really for this, for that. We can do it for this. That works out well for that. But it does not going to work out well for this. So, um, so we're just going to go with watching. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about watching. It's... It's a... Uh, very appropriate for the stream that we've got going on. It's it's very appropriate, but it's definitely a letdown in, in contemplation of of the quiet reflection that we were having before. And and this is what happens when um when you really forget that uh, an artwork actually is more than the sum of its cards. Um, and I was too busy watching, too too busy enjoying my drink. And the company yes. that we have from stream and, and, and yourself chiming in. Oh, thank you. I feel like, yeah, I just took you by surprise, jumped in halfway through a card play. That'll do it. But well, hopefully we'll make some we'll make some changes here. We'll get there. Yep. Hopefully we can finish off. Okay, yeah. All right. So Van Gogh is once again going to snub the the work. Um, I'm going to refresh the blue, If you can get a blue troll. No, that doesn't help you. Um, no, no. So I'm trying to think you want a blue triangle. No. Yeah. If you could get a blue triangle, that would be ideal. And a, what is it? A yellow. Block. A yellow block. Block, yeah. But it's not. Blocking. Which says there's not really anything of. So I think we're actually going to be better at taking this one just for its pieces. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's going to be the better action. Because we need the pieces. Roll up what Bingo is going to do. Next one. Yeah. Snubs, snubs that one up here. Again. Snubs it. He just does not like. Ooh, Ooh. look at that. Look at that. Because that will it will give you some decent gold points to be. Actually, honest. it would give us some really, really good gold points. Um, and I think at this point in the game, that's actually not a bad idea for us. Now, we have three artwork, three pieces already. Mm -hmm. But we can't afford that, so I'm actually going to do and grab this one. Even though okay. we are yeah. not going to use it, we're going to we're going to get the idea of um of it. Oh, and he is oh. Gonna, once again snub. look over here. Oh, it landed on its side. Landed on its side. <laughs> My inspiration cool. is is undeterminate. Nice. Oh. Beautiful. Ooh, and then. Money for jam. I'll just chuck my inspiration at it, and we'll grab that last piece. <laughs> um, now, there's no point, Vincent, going anymore um, because 
it, it is a, a done deal. Um, but let's chuck these on. And yeah, that's what we want to do. Fading anxiety, or do you want to go for a bit more of a? What What are you feeling? Do you Do you want? You can. I think I think we have to go. No, I think we have to go with some fading anxiety, just because it's yeah. going to score us the three. Yeah. Um, nice. We'll lock it in. So how does how does fading anxiety? How did fading anxiety come to be? Well. It is definitely the end of the game, um, and we were just, you know, after reeling from a not a bad, not a bad piece of work. Quiet Reflection was a, a a pretty good piece of work. It was liked, relatively liked by the critics, and really liked by the uh, the audience. We got distracted in watching, and and realistically, we just needed to 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 let go, and we needed to um, let our anxiety pass, and that's where fading anxiety comes from. Oh, sorry. We actually did score some more on this that you were not actually aware of. We yeah. scored on that. We scored we purple. Yeah, we did. It's equal. Triangles and triangle and thing. That's There's, outrageous. It's zero. Have a look at the thing. That's outrageous. It's it's. That is a pile of trash. <laughs> way to score. <laughs> Critics says it's equal. It's not. They're both not there. They're both not there. Oh, that's equal. That's they're equal. <laughs> that is genuinely a hate crime. Um, but hey, look. <laughs> it's... Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All right. We added it in there, so we had to. So I'm going to quickly <laughs> dial down my voice a little bit, just because so, the noise gate was uh, letting it get into the red, which we didn't want. And I do have a loud laugh, so... Um, Dial back the, the the sound a little bit. Um, so let's 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 score this puppy. Um, it definitely didn't go the direction I was hoping or even thinking. Um, I was not expecting to get any purple, um, but we did. Um, and who knows what happened with uh, my intentions of red? Because that was that was the aim. That that really really was the aim. So, let's score it up. Um, uh, are you? Uh, am I Banksy? <laughs> <laughs> David, David, we uh, we can certainly hope and and pray. Uh, um, so I score three points. I score none from blue because we just we we did not care for any variety. Now we did we actually score a symmetry? Where did we score the score the symmetry on? Uh, in fading anxiety. Oof, oof, that fading was anxiety, accidental symmetry at its finest. It was, it was an accidental symmetry and scored us a grand total of woof, one. Um, but we get fourteen from the from the um from, from the purple. Yes, from balance. Fourteen from, from balance. Balance. Oh, we that is that, that is, is an just, outrageous way to score because it's is, balanced because it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> so that that uh like if, if if i'm correct that's uh that's that's 37 isn't it yeah it's it, it's it's look it definitely is wait what is it that's uh yeah cool i'll 29 37 yep yep it is 37 <laughs> i want to take away a total of 14 from that uh, i want to take a total of 11 away from that because your symmetry is not acceptable behavior well, um, well, technically it's there. It's, it's... there. <laughs> but it's also just not fair. Look, I'm honest. <laughs> well, I I can't control what <laughs> the judges and what our critics think. All I can do is pander to their whims and needs. And, and that's how you win, man. And that's, that's how, how you win. anxiety develops. Like... <laughs> <laughs> we had anxiety and it faded because technically we were adhering to balance by not including balance. <laughs> I'm genuinely frustrated, like more so than I know I should be, but I am <laughs> genuinely outraged by this. I, I have I have no doubt that you are. So, <laughs> but what is that? What is that score? Is that best in show? Oh uh, yeah, so thirty-seven. No, no, no. So it's it's not best in show. Forty is a is a best in show performance. Um, mm -hmm. but it is it is a um, I think it's an a runner up. Yeah, runner up. So it is you know. So I, I respectable. I mean, realistically, what let you down was watching, watching, watching. Down. Yeah, yeah. Even though it snuck a uh, 
<laughs> a balance in there. Balance and like four <laughs> points. Well, that that scored me seven points. That uh, that sneaky balance there, because it went from seven to fourteen because the balance was in there. <laughs> yeah, that 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 watching scored you eleven points. Eleven points more than it should have. It's yeah. Oh, 11. Why 11? 7? Because of the, four. the 7 for being, but it also got you two silvers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. it's oh, it's, it's it's not a bad artwork. It's no. just a, uh, it was just a, um, a hurried one. It was a, uh, a, a flustered and, and, and anxious art piece. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Who are we to say that that's not actually how some of the best artwork comes about? Look, that's how I've won a lot of points and a lot of shows, if I'm honest. But I'm actually going to use this beautiful moment using watching as an example to um, segue, if you will, um, because the dice is where we are off to and the dice is what will lead us. We're actually going to go play a game called Dice Throne and we will watch as we throw these amazing dice around and hopefully it's notorious, I like to call it, Death Boggle. <laughs> Death boggle. Death boggle. Callum, before we get into that, do you want to qu take a quick uh, break? Um, I'll yep. go fill up my beer. Did you want to share your camera and we will actually have two cameras on screen? Yeah, screen. absolutely. Screen. Um, actually, um, yeah, I should be able to do that. You'll probably see my dog popping in and out, but that's totally fine. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm more than happy to pop into the stream. But yeah, for any of you guys who are playing at home, this is called Dice Throne. It's an incredible game by Roxley, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy watching us play after this short break. Beautiful. So we'll be two minutes and then we'll be back and, and we'll jump straight into the teach. I'll even use your camera feed to do the teach. Mm -hmm. See you in two minutes, all.
And we're back, and Callum's going to run us through the teach. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this incredible board. Uh, this is Dice Stone, and it is beautiful. Um, it has been a lot of money for me, and I have loved spending every every dollar there. But uh, before I do go into the teach, I just want to give you guys a heads up that there will be a Marvel crossover for Dice Throne uh, coming up on the 25th of October, and um, that has reinvigorated me, ready and excited to play. But, ladies and gentlemen, this game is what I would describe as... do you, If you enjoy rolling dice... And you enjoy killing people this is an amalgamation that takes heroes to do just that so for example ladies and gentlemen we are going to have a game of uh, 1v1 because myself and drugma are going to battle it out um do you have i am a big preference i know i would love to play one of the game developers favorite which is the barbarian and that's hopefully what i'm going to start off with that's my hope and wish that i can do really well with the barbarian a simple man with simple pleasures um, Basically, every game starts the same. You'll get yourself 50 health. You'll get yourself two incredible combat points. You'll get yourself five dice. And then you have your extra boards and what can happen with those. So if I choose the Barbarian, you can sort of see here, I have lots of different activities or different ways I can kill each other. Um, and to sum it up, that's really what we have to do. Before we start every turn, now before when we begin our game, we start with a board, we start with a dial at 50, start with two CP, and we start ready to go. And we start by picking up four cards. So for instance, if I pick up four cards, this is me and I am ready and raring to go. So you'll be able to see on my screen and it doesn't really pop out the way I would love it to. In my card, there are probably, let's say there's, at the moment there's a uh, cards that will affect one of the phases called the roll phase. Cards that will upgrade my ability to hurt people and cards that will help me not die or will happen in a main phase. Now, if you're ever sure and unsure of where you're at, check your turn order. These cards are available in the, in the boxes as well and they're so handy. So, you begin your upkeep phase of every turn. Rocket Science, you give yourself one CP and you will resolve in your sorry, upkeep, you resolve any effects. Some heroes have actual effects that will happen during their upkeep phase and so some of them may have a burn damage or things like that that will actually hurt them. You do that first. Then give yourself a combat point. Next, give yourself a card and you're ready to go. In my hand at this point in time, I have five delightfully delicious cards and they will allow me to do many different things. Your goal when you roll the dice is to activate any one of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven abilities. This green one here, we'll talk about a little bit later when we talk about defense. So, sure enough, get your dice, have a great time, roll them up. I have a strong belief where we there's something that people tell me, and that is to listen to your dice. Yeah. And who would have thought the words, listen to your dice? Uh, you can choose to fight your dice. I prefer to feel my dice, Callum. I prefer to feel my dice. Yeah, fear. Fear is a good way to do it, or, or feel, or just listen. Um, your dice <laughs> will tell you what you can do. Here you can see I've got a six, a five, a four and a two and a one so i don't have a straight but you'll notice i do have two swords which doesn't get me anything on this side i have two hearts which if i wanted to i could try to roll for more hearts to heal myself and i have a six now those sixes if you somehow manage to roll five sixes be warned the most incredible thing will happen an ultimate will go off you'll have to declare that and if your opponent decides to change your dice they can, but if they cannot change your dice, the one thing I will tell you all, nothing, not a single thing in this game, apart from stopping it from starting, will ever stop a ultimate. It's an ongoing hilarious joke in the Dice Stone community. Um, people will start and with a post saying, hey, can um, this acting stop a ultimate? Or can this person stop me from taking damage? And uh, in, in the form of the community, something they love to post is this, um, oh, who is it? Idris Elba. And he's standing there hitting reset the clock because it's said that often. But let's go through. This is my first roll phase. So I get to do this three times. So I'm going to choose to keep the um, six, five, and four and roll the, these two dice. So and now I have a small straight, six, five, four, three, which will allow me to do the nine damage but i have one more roll phase to finish off and i'll give it a go and roll myself a six 
So the six, two sixes won't help me, and they won't allow me to do anything. So I'm gonna focus on this small straight, which is six, five, four, three, which means that I'll deal nine damage to my opponent. It's then my opponent's turn. For instance, I'm gonna choose you as the Moon Elf. You'll be able to choose your character a little bit later, and you'll have the opportunity to defend this damage. You'll take your dice, roll them, follow the iconography on your card, and you may be able to hurt me back. Then, at the end of this turn, I'll have the opportunity to discard any cards, or sell or play any of my blue ported cards. And then it's your turn to do the exact same thing to me. If at any stage I wanted to upgrade my Sturdy Blow or Mighty Blow, so for instance these cards here, I can do so in a main phase, and they will cost, as you can sort of see, the CP, which is this beautiful thing that I get one every turn. Or I can sell cards. And that's a permanent card that stays out that I can then yeah, play on Yeah, absolutely. So for instance, if I upgrade Sturdy Blow 2, I take over Sturdy Blow number 1, put it there, costs me 1 CP, and then if I ever roll, say for instance, this, instead of where I would have usually done 4 undefendable damage, I now do 5. Beautiful. Not rocket science. It's an amazing game. I love playing it. I've played it so much that um, all of my friends and, and partners, um, I, my partner, sorry, is um, getting tired of it. <laughs> she always picks Pyromancer, and I won't lie, if she picks Pyromancer, I assure you I'm going to lose. Because uh, Pyromancer is just a damage monster. Barbarian is a bit of balance, um, and things you want to be afraid of is like the stun, because if you get stunned, I get another turn. Moon Elf is incredible because they get to do things like targeted and evade. Imagine trying to take five dam uh, 15 damage and being like, I'm going to give that a hot no. Um, and different characters all feel so different. Um, this is just six of the characters of the eight from season one. There's season two, which has another eight characters. And if you love rolling dice and killing people, but don't want to kill your friends, there's also Dice Throne Adventures, and that's a co-op mode, and it's a really great little dungeon crawler using the characters that you've fallen in love with. Apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, I could talk about this to the characters come home, but basically it is start your turn, get some money, get some combat, get a card, see if you want to buy stuff, kill someone, they get a chance to defend it, and repeat. Beautiful. So, simple game. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. That's the teach for this game. If you want to know more, jump onto the Dice Zone community. They are so supportive. Um, I could not recommend them enough in a way that they always answer questions and they do so in a pretty timely fashion. However, if you do ask about uh, does it stop an ultimate, they may laugh at you. <laughs> Beautiful. We'll chuck the, um, chuck the Discord and, and links into the Twitch chat um, mm -hmm. and we'll switch over to the main playboard. So just as a, a quick reminder, we are currently at 460, page 460. Um, so we've almost halfway through the data or the the game pool so i guess we re reset and kick off mm -hmm. absolutely if you're ready to go i am ready to go what i'm doing right now is i'm just going to grab the link for the dice Zone community yep. if anybody who's on facebook put that in there as well uh, if i can get an invite is there an invite link i wonder if that's a thing you can do no not really um i'll just grab the facebook group and i'll put it in the chat for anybody who's playing check it out um but yeah honestly they're a lot of fun and they're super supportive um and hopefully dfube and some of your mates will love to have a go at this one as well um yeah so they, they were quite excited they uh they are pretty i know dfube um when i was watching their stream earlier today were mentioning um that they love the game so um uh i, I guess that's the we were quite lucky in that their mm -hmm. stream was ending um they're in america so um, their stream ending at uh, seven o'clock was actually quite rare because that means it's something like it's past midnight for them. So nice. All right. Well, let's reset our cards or reset our heroes. Uh, yep. Yes. And then you'll have the opportunity to choose whichever hero you so fit. I recommend Moon Elf or Barbarian, unless you want to just be a damage dealing monster, Pyromancer. If you want to shoot people more, go the Gunslinger. But Ninja and Shadow Thief probably aren't great first play heroes. All right. Once you start to get a bit of an idea. So don't of the click game. random. Oh well, if you want to give it a go. I absolutely. got Moon Elf. That's all right. Yeah, I, I clicked yeah, the random. I, I went. I went there. I went <laughs> nice. there. All right. And it I'm didn't hurt go. me. Well, that's it. 
I'm going to go the um, Barbarian because I'm a big fan of the, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Um, and Manny Tremblay, who actually is one of the people who, who who's the main designer and art designer. He's a big fan of the Barbarian. So hopefully we'll have a bit of fun. Beautiful. All right. So I've got um, four different um, ongoing effects. So the Blind, Entangle, Evasive and Targeted. Mm -hmm. So when you roll, for instance, for blind, have a look at your activity you'll see in the long straight, blinding shot. Yep. You'll inflict those things to people. Yep. And that's when you just chuck that token onto their board. Um, you'll give yourself ev evasion because it's a positive satisfaction, so you kind of want it. Um, entangle. Each of them tells you what they do, so if you've ever need it. And there is, um, in the rules books, that at the back of most rule books is a quick reference sheet. Yep. Um, but considering we're versus one v one targeted is a great one to do just extra damage um and you can do that with say for instance disengaging shot where you'll basically roll two sixes and a bunch of one to threes so do i start with cards in my hand or yeah give yourself four cards grab yourself a dice and let's roll off beautiful i think so... it's fair to be able to roll off or um so just any dice yeah any singular dice and we'll roll them into the middle and we'll see who gets to go first <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what you want. Big sixes. All right. Um, before we start, I, I wish you the best, and I hope you can roll all sixes. I do have one house rule that you can take into account. You don't have to agree. Yep. If you roll a natural ultimate, which means you roll all sixes on your first roll, mm -hmm. I will not change it, even if I could. Okay. <laughs> but you can do that. You don't have to agree to that. But hey. Okay. So, anyway. I'm going to go first. I'll give myself... I don't have any upkeep. Uh, and so I'm going to give myself one CP. I'm going to take one card and then look at my hand. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a bit reckless. And I'm going to upgrade my thick skin. So I had thick skin. Now I have thick skin too. And that's going to cost all of my CP. Which means I won't be able to do any other upgrades this time. And I won't be able to do anything else. I'll also... What I might also do is I'm going to sell my get some. Which yep. is, so I get a CP for selling that card, which is something you can do yep. in your main phase. And then I'm going to buy double up, which gives me two more cards. So it's a bit of a deck builder as well in that essence that sort of allows you to do a bit of bit of this and a bit of that. Cool. All right, I'm, I'm going to need to put the glasses on and go old yeah. man for this because Unfortunately, even the, the Zoom. Patch, yeah, the Zoom isn't great. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just a scripted thing. Tabletopia also has it if, if you do play on that stream rather than Tabletop Simulator, but it is a really great game. So that's me, ready to go. I've spent, I've shopped, and I've sold. Spent again. Now I'm going to roll some dice, see what we can get. Oof, okay. I'm going to be a very simple man. This breaks my heart. I'm not usually this simple. I like to risk it for the biscuit and go sixes all the time, but it's an early game and I don't want to lose it quick. Let's see if... It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? See if I can get a six here. No. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do four damage and that's it. Um, so you have the opportunity to defend four damage. If you look okay. at your player card, and I'll come yep. on over as well. So I've got you'll notice uh, the four. green one. Yep. So I roll and all five of your dice. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. With do you, what have you got? You've got uh, sixes are usually lovely in most other situations, but today they're not. Oh, so do you have two feats? No, you don't have two feats and you don't have two bows. If you had two feats, it would actually be two damage. If you had two bows, you'd deal one back. Unfortunately, you just take four damage. Oh, so, well, well, thank you for that. You're welcome. And uh, thanks, Olympian, for uh, the, the follow. Welcome, Olympian. Hopefully you'll enjoy Dice Throne as much as me. It is awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you I can't are... say you'll enjoy the stream of me bumbling through it, but we'll we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> All right. All right. So it is now your turn. I'm gonna nice draw and simple. Oh, yeah. Give yourself so I'll keep... one of these. Yep. And then give yourself a card. And it is nice and small. And mm -hmm. I have just been making them bigger because you know well, what? You can scroll. What I I've can. done is I've scrolled really close on my camera just so I have that opportunity to be able to see it. Olympian uh, says they love Dice Throne. So. Oh, it's hard I've, not to, to be fair. I've been meaning to play it for a long, long time. Just haven't had the opportunity, so. Yeah. 
This this game is outrageous. I'm I'm super excited about the Marvel spinoff. I know the community is split, but I don't even care. Like everybody's really just excited about new content. How, how do you feel about it, Olympian? Good old Bart Battle Yahtzee. Dead set, absolutely. Battle Yahtzee. <laughs> Battle, right, so, uh, Battle Yahtzee, or, or what was the other one? Dice Boggle, or no? Yeah, Boggle Death. Boggle Death. Boggle Death, yeah. All right. Death Boggle. Um, yeah. So, so what's it, evasive do again? So spend a roll to dodge so an attack. Yeah, getting evasive is really great. So if you've got a lot of damage coming in, or even a little, you can first do your defensive. Yep. And if you're not happy with your defensive, you can actually end up spending a, uh, your evasive. Roll your dice. You roll, a, what is it, a one or a two? You avoid it entirely. Yeah, you completely avoid the damage. However, your defense still goes off because the defense, yeah. Oh. So you can still deal damage back. It's monstrous. Oh. It's very evil. It, that's a very cool little thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm going to spend two. Yep, nice. And we're going to upgrade my entangling shot. Nice, small straights are great. And, and, and we'll make upgrade. it, yeah, you know, we'll make it a bit smaller so it's not. Uh, <laughs> so it fits on the board. <laughs> that cost me nice. the two, but then I'm yep. also going to spend that. Mm -hmm. That single one. Back, that yep. single one. So uh, to get me bit. evasive. Do you want to give it to me? I, I I was thinking about that. I was contemplating yep. it, and you know yep. you're so nice and sharing that four damage mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, nah. There, fair. Look, I've got to give it a go. Beautiful. Um, so, so now I'm going to roll. And it's fun to spam an R. Yeah, it is. So, so I've got... got... I've got... Ooh. So I've got... So um, work... Long bows are always... Like, it's the most simple yeah. attack, but it's just kind of... Sometimes it feels boring. Yep. I could also do I could also do the covered shot, which would be annoying because I've already got evasive. You can have up to three, and if you fail oh. the first evasive roll, you can do it again, and then you can do it again. If you're oh, all right. Well, then yeah, we're gonna do that because <laughs> you know what? I'm one a more, sneaky mofo. One more time, and I got one more, and let's hope. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Damn it! So instead, you're gonna have to go for a bit of a yeah, bit of a just, longbow and deal. Just, a, a healthy three. Three damage to you. Just, yeah. you know, three damage to you, which you'll more than likely ignore. Yeah, absolutely. So you'll notice um, before, just that this is a great opportunity to look at an upgrade. Previously, Thick Skin has three dice, but instead I actually get to roll four dice now. So I'm more likely to prevent and heal as well. So this is where... So Olympium, are you in... Um... Uh, are you in Australia or are you in um, America as well? Uh, and what have you got there? And I have, I get to heal two, so I'll <sighs> take one. You get to take a good old one. singular damage. That's a big, big start by us, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. A very big start. It's terrifying to know that we've got here so quickly. Um, WASD is now gone. There we go. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. So I'm. You now have oh. good, 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 good. So you now have reached. So you've done offensive, yep, targeting, so and defensive. defensive so now main, main phase. phase. Yeah. You can sell cards if you want to, or you can just be happy as Larry, because you have a maximum hand limit of six. Yeah, I've got three, so I'm fine. You know what? I'm gonna end my turn. It is Sweet. over to you. Sweet. Uh, of course, I don't have any upkeep, so you don't have any burn on me or anything like that. So I'm pretty happy. Give myself a nice little combat point. Give myself a nice little card. All right. Now I have a free card to play, and I'm feeling good. So I get to roll three dice, and let's see what comes up. For I get one health plus two for every heart, so I give myself three health. One, two, three. Over maximum. So, okay. so hey, your max rubble. is sixty because you're fifty normally, yeah? Yep, your max you can go ten higher eight. than your starting yeah. health. Yeah. Yeah, I do believe. Um but I honestly don't think I'll get to that anytime soon. And that is where I'm at. I don't think I can afford anything else, so let's see if I can hit you this time. Okay. Oh, four. Five. Three. Playing that open straight. Let's see if I can get a bit reckless. Three and five. It's not what I wanted, if I'm honest. 
Um, <laughs> I'm concerned that I'm not going to do anything. Um, and because I'm so concerned, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to just <laughs> oh, wow. it this and roll everything. Um, and in that case, I'm going to just hit you for another four because I am not very good at this game. Beautiful. Um, so, damage. so evasive, I get to roll. Uh, if you want to do it, you don't have to use it. Oh, does it spend it though? No. If you don't use it, if you fail, you I can use it. Regardless. Oh, so if yeah, so if you decide I'm going to use my evasive, regardless of whether you roll a one or two, you will spend your evasive, and it'll go back into the stack. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's it's not something. It's a lasting effect. It's something that no, you. So yeah, you cool. Um, and how much damage? Three. Four, uh, I think four. Sorry, four damage. I do. Four believe. damage. Yeah. All right, cool. So cool, you cool, can cool. roll your defensive first. So just don't Cause actually you're... roll. You know, a six like three yeah, sixes. Don't roll sixes. Uh, so you're going to deal two ba damage back to me. Yep. Which is. Really frustrating. You'll notice the iconography on your card. It's in a red circle. Yep. That's a way to tell you that it's undefendable damage. So I'm just going to take that two damage. Yep. And you can take four damage if you want it, or you can try and evade it. Um. So, oh, the defensive roll. So I can't stop any of it. I can just, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, so because of the arrows, you didn't roll feet, so you didn't half of it. Yep. You want to see if you want to evade four, yeah. or are you happy to take four? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see if I can evade it. So I'm going to spend right. that. Grab the dice, yeah. Roll the one or two, my friend. And we're gonna roll. That's a three. <laughs> it's, it's gonna take it's four damage. Four damage. <laughs> awesome. So now it is my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, are you yeah, gonna I'm take your second? No, no, not gonna do anything. All right. So, um, I'm going to gain a combat. I don't have any upkeep. I draw a card. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Um, I'll just make these small because it's you know. Yeah, you'll notice sort of that's what I've gone is I've just sort of scrolled as close as I could to look at them because, yeah, I don't know. The alt doesn't really bring them up big enough, which is What's, sad. uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. I could just see them right here. Like, why, why, why I look for my, uh, for my bottom, I can actually just see them quite literally in my hand. Um, all right, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do the getting getting paid, so it just gives me getting two. Paid. Yeah, just take a fresh two CP just for nothing. Just because I am entitled. No, um, yeah, absolutely, you're so right. You may reroll up to five. Oh. Um, for any of you guys who are sort of new to the game, you'll notice that some of the cards actually. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to put that in your hand. You'll notice the cards have different borders. So red cards, true enough, they mean they can be played at any instant time. Oh, okay, yellow cool, cool, cards cool, 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 cool. can only be played during the rolling time, rolling phases. Yep. And the other cards, blue or other white borders, play during your main phase. Cool. All right. So I'm going to spend my two. Yep. Well, two of them anyway, mm -hmm. uh, to get my exploding arrow uh, upgraded. Nice. Awesome. So it's exploding arrow two. So, yep. So that's done. And now I'm just, just going to roll it. I'm going to kick it in there. That is a small straight already. That... So you've already got entangling. Yep, I do. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna just just we're just gonna keep that, and we're just gonna mm -hmm. roll this this boy. Mm -hmm. Or girl, it could be anything. That's not a yeah, that's not what I want. Um, all right. So does that make you want to change? No. So what? Is, uh, how do you mean? Sorry. With your six. Yep. Does that make you feel like, oh, maybe I could maybe go for a diminishing shot? Or um, I I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite liking the uh, the, entang <laughs> the, the entangling shot regard. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. But if I get that blinding, <laughs> then, you know, we're not going to complain about it. So, but it, uh, we don't. But we do get that entangling shot. Right, so, so tell, you, me, tell me what happens. You take the entangle. So here you go. Yeah, you can take it back with board. you. Oh, right, you I can all take all right. it back. Yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. shame there. Yeah. And uh, you can soak up that lovely, lovely nine damage for me. Nine damage. That's a lot, if I'm honest. That's it's... a lot more than Amber is ready to take. But okay. <laughs> so I get to have a bit of a roll first to see if I can stop some of that, my defensive, because it's not defendable. And I don't, so I'm going to take a full nine damage. Ouch. That that hurts. That's a lot to take in a turn. But okay, we're here now. Yep. Um. And... Mm -hmm. We're not going to do anything from here. So, uh, what does Entangle do to you? Tell me a little bit about it. You can tell me. Lose like or... one roll attempt. 
A player afflicted with this token gets one fewer roll attempts during their next offensive roll. At the conclusion mm -hmm. of the roll phase, remove this token. So it's not ongoing, unlike you see, for instance, targeted, which is an ongoing effect. But entangle means that I only get to roll my dice twice. Correct. Nothing I can do about it, and then yep. I give it back to you. Sweet. But I will start my upkeep and my income. Awesome. Tell me about this card. So I've um I've added uh, Callum, you weren't here for when I uh, said it before, but to the uh, Twitch stream, um I've added mm -hmm. the commands in the chat, um so mm -hmm. you can do things like uh, exclamation lurk or um there's a whole bunch of different commands, um mm -hmm. so we can actually uh, the chat community the community can actually add to that as well. So. So what are you going to inflict me with? Bear with me. I'm actually just quickly posting into the community to see if anybody wants to come watch us, watch me lose, um, to ah. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure about that, but we'll, 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 we'll see. But, and Hi. anyone in chat as well. So we do have a Discord. Um, I'll chuck that into the chat. Um, if you want to have a look, um, jump into our Discord. We are, you know, if we do get a second game of this as well. Um, feel free to jump in. We can actually extend the number of players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more the merrier. Absolutely. If you want to play some battle yards here with us, uh, Olympian, that'd be amazing. All right, I'm going to roll up some dice. I'm actually not doing anything else other than rolling up. And that is... It's nothing that I like, if I'm honest. Uh, you, you, know... only, you only get one more roll. I do, you're right. Actually, thank you for reminding me because I was about to risk it for the biscuit in a terrifying <laughs> way. It was not going to end well for me. So I'm just going to roll this hard. Wait, a six. That's not going to be that useful to me. I'll give you back your Tangle token because I can't well, do anything. Thank you. That's. Um, and I will inflict a total of six damage coming your way and not a lot else. Six damage. Uh, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to do much. I'm not going to do much. It's, a, it's not a lot. <laughs> Mate, you did nine damage to your last <laughs> turn, and I just stood there and took it like a loser. Here we go. And yeah, you're going to send one back. I'm going to send one back, and I'm not going to prevent any of the damage, because yes. it's just not in me. So what was it? Six. Six. Monstrous six damage. All right. Beautiful. So All it, right. Uh, are you going to do anything else on your second main um, phase? No, I, I'll, I'll take that. I'll smile. I might cry a little bit, but we'll get it done. That'll do. Beautiful. Nothing and incredible has And rather than doing guys. it all manually, I'm just going to hit the nice start turn button because, you know, they create oh, that button for don't. us. Don't tell me that that did it work. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. yeah. That's it, outrageous. It, it added one to me and it put one in my hand. Like, what, a it, what a flawless game. This <laughs> is, look, why am I. Anyway, you're right. Great decision making. Move on. <laughs> This is why I love this game, the community. If you're having a chance to have a look at my um, my actual camera, you'll notice at the back of me there is some beautiful actual boxes that I've got. I, I don't recall week. seeing them last week. Did you position them right just in the no, right spot? Nah, they've always been there. They, it's the only part of the shelf they fit on. <laughs> the shelf the they um, are monsters they, of a box. They are. That's season one and season two, and above it is um, Dice Zone Adventures, but you can't see that at the moment. Underneath my... Um, my monitor is the old season one box because they re-released -re season one with some extra characters for example the ninja yeah um, so yeah pretty great anyway you're up so if i was to do something that for instance like an attack modifier would i do that before i roll my offensive rolls you'll notice it's yellow yeah yeah so yeah that'll happen at the end of your offensive roll phase so you'll okay add it on, on top so because yep. this one's asking me to roll one dice do i re-roll one dice or do we keep with the result that i had or anything it's just... the result and then you roll the dex extra dice to do whatever cool, cool, it is cool, asking cool, you cool, to do cool cool cool, yep. cool 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 all right um uh yeah we're, we're just gonna jump straight into it and we're gonna we're gonna roll it up because there's just nothing i want to play Oh, there's some sixes there. There's some sixes there. Sixes are exciting. Sixes. Move your dice because I'm a mean man. Sixes certainly are exciting, and I've already got one of the arrows. But I, you know, I don't want to risk like the the arrows are, are definitely more common. So. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're lucky, and you can have a look on your. You'll notice on your um oh, yeah. blind. Percentage. Tell you what you can get. So we're gonna re-roll three. 
There's and, the actual arm. And there's that... and there we go. Like exactly what we wanted. If you could, you've got another roll chance, and you could actually roll Eclipse. We could, and I only need one of these. Mm. Do I risk the biscuit? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only going to roll one. I'm only okay. going to roll one. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna grab it. Go big, go on, surely. Yes. No. Oh, That's all right. God. That's all right. That would have been a lot. That was it. Um, seven damage, blind, entangled, yeah. and targeted. No, now, thank you. Now. In addition to that, though, is mm -hmm. we're, we're gonna just you know have some fun with it. So you can you can just okay. take yeah. that. Roll your dice, you monster. <laughs> so, so, wow, what have we got? so an extra, what is it? So you're doing an you get extra a blind. blind. Thanks, mate. I'll take the blind already. Yep. So I've got that ready to go. Yep. And then tell me what what are you doing? You're doing an exploding yep. arrow. Yes, we're doing an exploding yep. arrow. So I roll oh, my God. five. Yep. Yeah. Roll another five dice. This is ridiculous. This is going to hurt. Okay. Five plus two, four, six. Yep. So 11 damage. Yep. Plus one, two, 12, 13 damage. Okay. Yep. And you additionally, roll, you get another blind, but I can't cop the extra blind. It's only so many blinds. It's not, it doesn't stack. You lose. Uh, additionally, opponent loses CP for every. Oh, uh, but I didn't roll any. Yeah. Oh, that, that was no sixes in that. So oh, that would have been brutal. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Eight plus three is 11. Is Have I done that right? Um, so you get, so five. Uh, so, so for each one two, of the arrows, it's two, four, six. Yep. Seven, eight with the two fingers, two feet, plus the three. Yeah. Uh, 11 damage. This. Oof. Six plus three is nine. Oh, and is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 11. 11. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is 11. 11 damage. Uh, but and you're I'm already blind. blinded. So, yeah, and exactly. blind is... No good. So on... even <laughs> it's not a great time. Tell, tell me, anybody who is watching, what is blind going to do to me on my next roll? Um, so on one or two, fail offensive roll phase. The next Jeez. time a player afflicted with this token concludes their offensive roll phase, they must remove this token and roll a die. On one or two, their offensive roll phase has no effect of any kind. Yup. So, even if I somehow manage to roll, unless I roll an ultimate, and that's a and, is, that's a permanent. And, is no, it? no, it's, no. It'll say it'll tell you if it's persistent. So okay, where's the one, So you'll notice um, where's persistent. Persistence on targeted. So basically, the next time player, and then once you've done that, ah, uh, okay, fail, yeah, yeah, it's a, it oh, yeah, persistent, yeah, yeah, yeah go, go, right at the end. So the, it it, it's only a chance to be annoying to you. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna finish my turn. So it's yeah, your Wait, turn. I took a fat eleven damage, bringing you down to twenty nine. Woo, that hurt uh, more than it really should. Okay, I'm gonna sort of sell some cards because I uh, just wanted to get some extra points. Um. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and be mean and try and get myself an ultimate. That's my goal, because then that blind doesn't hurt as much. And that's a great start. Now, be warned that if you wanted to, you do have the opportunity to change any of my dice if I declare an ultimate, by the way. So if you've got like a tippet, a sixer, a so wild, you have that opportunity. This is me communicating that to you now. Huh, roll again. Not so great. tippet, a sixer, is that the um that's... Tip it's the red one. You can tip it, increase or yep. decrease the value by one. Six yep. it will make it a six. You probably don't want to make it a six for me. Right. A so wild means you can change the dice to anything you want, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that's two roll phases. Let's go again. Three roll phases. It's not great. Um, just give me a second. Let's see what I got. Um... <laughs> uh, this isn't great if i'm honest um, okay let's try again let's go one more time yep one cp right. a chosen player may perform another roll attempt for up to five dice let's go come on sixes still <laughs> not what we're looking for okay nice great all right hold up we're gonna tip that five into a six yep Ooh. Oh, that's another cp all right Ooh, all right it's not looking good for me at this point in time all right we might 
This is this is ugly, guys. Um, I'm playing hard for it. If I end up having to, if I get blinded by this, I'm going to be very angry. And I've spent a six it as well. So I'm going to be going off a crit bash. Yep. But I'm going to see if I'm blinded. Because if I'm blinded, I'm in right trouble here. <laughs> what have I got to do? Just roll a one or two? Yep. Or don't roll a one or two? Yeah, so, it's a, so don't roll a, uh, Let me Let me double check. Oh, yeah, cool. I oh, just caught it here. Woo. Uh, on a one or two, their offensive roll um, fails and has no effect of any kind. There we go. A six. So I'm lucky. I get myself a quick bash. So I'm going to inflict stun on you, and you're going to take five undefendable damage. Okay. Now, oh, so you got five damage. That's going to hurt. Yeah. Let me explain stun to you. So, a player afflicted with this token may take no action of any kind, i.e. no cards may be played, no defense may be made, no status tokens. After the attack concludes, which is the attack that I've just made, the player who inflicted stun removes the token and then immediately targets the same opponent with an additional roll phase. Okay. So I take the stun back and, and I have just, another go. I just have five, five, minus five. Yes, just minus five damage, yep. All right. And then I'm going to go, this hopefully I can hit you again. Yeah. You know the saying, like, I, I know I said listen to your dice, but <laughs> <laughs> not very good at listening to my dice, so let's go. Uh, 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 All right, I'm going to use overpower here, Oof. which means hopefully I can hit you again for some damage. I'm going to take three dice and I'm going to roll them up. And I do a total of four, seven, nine damage. Yep. And that's it. But it is defendable, so you can roll your defense. All right, so nine damage. Nine damage is coming after the five I've done. I've already taken you five, so that's fine. Sweet. And you're going to deal at least one back. So um. Yeah, so one damage back, and I don't prevent any of it. So nine Eight, damage. Oh, that, was, that felt good. That felt like I was... I'm back in the game a little bit. Beautiful. Hit pretty hard. Go for it. My turn. Mm -hmm. Click that lovely, lovely little button. Um. Let's go, Mark. Let's get. Let's get. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So I've got no. Yep. Awesome. So we're just. We're just. We're just gonna jump straight into it. Nice. Mhm. Mm Ooh. Ooh. You could roll for covered shot and get yourself some evade if that's something that interests you. We could, we could. I'm definitely going to keep that. Oh boy, if you're rolling for covered shot, you're definitely not keeping that, but carry on. Maybe you're rolling for an ultimate, I don't even know yet. There's two. Oh, you were definitely rolling for an ultimate, and I am nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just no gonna send it. We're gonna send it. <laughs> oh god, there's no. And um, I do happen to have one more time. Okay, yeah, go for it. So you can roll your X two. Yeah. So okay. take yeah. take take the pay one. Pay the cost. Pay the pay the pay the piper. Pay the yeah. piper. Don't roll another six. Oh my oh. gosh. And I'm <laughs> just you know. I'm in trouble here. Just gonna chuck out the samesies. <laughs> This is no. Oh, <laughs> I can't stop this. <laughs> All right, my friend. So this is me. a this is a bit of a lunar eclipse. <laughs> so give us uh, gain evasive. So yep. thank you. Thanks, mate. Yep. So I, mm -hmm. I didn't need the covered shot because yep. So mm -hmm. then I'm gonna inflict work. blind. So yep. You, thanks. It's yours. Um, no, we're no, gonna. No, no, no. Blind. Oh, yeah, blind and an entangle. and in the tangle. Yeah, Yep. And a targeted. Yeah, now, what you'll notice here, make sure you read it in order, okay? Yep. So gain all of these things, and then you're going to deal the 12 damage. Yep. However, what you now know is that you've got target on me. When a player... A yep. Uh, attack increases their damage by 2. So, so instead of the 12 undefendable, sure as bananas is life, you'll be doing 14 damage to me. I am indeed, yes. 2, 3... And there's nothing I can do about that. I don't get to defend it. I don't get to have a good old hunky-dory time. I just get hit for a lot. 
and that hurt. Yep. Would you like to finish or do anything else with your um, main phase, second main phase? So we're, we're going to stay with that, yeah. Mm. Huh. I'm honest, I didn't love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100% honest. Didn't love it. All right. Well, in that case, let's just roll some dice. I get two roll phases. Cool. Um, I'll take the, sh the straight, the last straight. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to take that, and then I'm going to see if I'm blinded. No, nope. Not so blinded, good. so you can have that and this on back. Thanks, mate. I'll drop them off. Oh, cheers. Thanks. Uh, so you can put them away. Now, uh, because I've got the large straight, I'm going to deal 15 damage to you. However, I'm going... It's defendable, so you'll be able to defend it if you want H to. How are you... But Oh, you had the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, it was a three before. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm going to take four damage in return. All right. Um, does that increase because you... No. No. It's only when I'm I do this. i when you hit me, yeah. Cool. So how much damage did I take, sorry? 15 that you can defend. Would you like to... Yeah, so roll your defensive first to see... What... Mm -hmm. So you'll definitely be dealing one back. I recommend, out of interest, that you try your evade. Yep, I'm definitely going to try that evade. No. Would you need a one or two? If you'd rolled a one or two, that would have been huge. All right, so you're taking 15, and I'm taking another one. Oh, we're in strike. I'm nine. I have nine health left, so you could <laughs> kill me this turn. Uh, anything else? That is my turn. That is your turn? Oh, actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So if a... It's zero CP... If you're successful and dealt at least eight damage to your opponent after their defense concluded, play this card to inflict concussion. Uh, what's so I'm con going to give you a concussion, which means that uh, a player um, must in skip their income phase, so you don't get an income phase for this turn. Okay. Okay. So which I just means, draw. Yeah, you don't draw. So I don't you draw. Any CP and draw a card, you don't do that. Okay. So then you just take it back. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay. Here we go. This is. This is nerve-wracking stuff. So I'm just, just going to have to jump straight into it. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 You, 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 you're covering one of my sixes. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Um, and we're, we're, oh, gosh. What, are you, what health are you on? Sorry, nine. Nine, yeah. So if you did um, things like... Oh, uh, well, Eclipse won't kill me. Actually, no, it will, because you've got the target. But you can target. defend. So what's your defender? That gives you health, doesn't it? It allows me to heal. Um, so, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So you need to do a minimum of seven damage to be in the zone of killing me. Um, yeah, if you do that, then I am likely, because you're doing the extra two. Okay, that's two more than I want of those to be fine. Oh, the thought process. <laughs> All right. It's While we're a... having this moment, um, and thank you for everybody who is tuned in, I just want to give you guys a bit of a shout out. Um, that we are playing these games um, because... Oh, <laughs> yes. because we are helping to launch an app called Games Night. Dot app. <laughs> and that is an app where you can track your board games um, <sighs> and keep an incredible list of what you've got. Um, I'm so sad here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, look, it's a great way to share, to log what you've got, tell people what you want to play. There's itch lists, there's wish lists. Uh, there's a lot of tiers. I, I can't take another targeted, so shush and mush go away. Oh, it's a limited to one? Yeah, stack limit of one. Oh, <laughs> So check out Games Nights. It's really exciting. A great way to sort of tell what board games you've got. Say if one of your friends want to get you something, you can check out wish list. So the link um, is below app.gamesnight.fun. Yeah, app.gamesnight.fun. And it is really great to see different sort of people. And say if you're sharing dice throwing with people and then decide you're never going to do it again because they beat you so wholeheartedly. Um, so it's nine damage coming my way. Is that correct? It's, it's It is nine damage coming your way. Okay, let's hopefully um, with I can a black roll. border, yeah. All right. Ooh. And so you're blind and entangled, and but that won't do yeah. anything on these, yeah. Come on, babe. Give me 
Give me a heart. Give me a heart. Yes! Yes! Oh, gosh. Okay. So I can prevent one of these in income tokens. I'm actually going to take... I'm going to get rid of blind. So I'm actually going to heal four damage of the... Of the nine coming in. I heal four, so I take five. Oh, and I'm oh. not taking the blind, so I'll take one less chance. Oh. <laughs> um, now, some people don't DM me if you like it. I know some people will be like, well, you're healing it, you're not taking it, you're not preventing it. I'm like, well, I mean, it happens at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, my turn start. Oh, I'm super nervous. All right. All right, let's just roll. So what's the entangle do for us? The entangle, one, uh, one less roll phase. One less roll phase, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, let's go again. We're gonna heal five health here. That's All what right. We're gonna do. Cool. And you can have that one back. <laughs> Beautiful. So now it's my um, turn. It is now your turn, absolutely. Damn you and your ability to heal. <laughs> There's not many people with the ability to heal either, so that is a blessing. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna send it. All right. So I've oh, got I've got short straight already. I've already got a short straight, which is nine damage. I am nervous. Yeah. You probably want to keep that, wouldn't you? Cause yeah. So what's, I'm definitely gonna keep your that. Body. What's what's the blinding shot, which is the large straight? It's not really going to actually do any more. It's just going to give blind on me and an evasive on you that you could use. Um. Yeah, but it deals one less damage. And at this yeah. point, what are health are you on? So you're on... I'm on nine. You're so on nine. Total but I've got 11. 11. Yeah. We're going to see. We're going to see what the uh, universe has to hold. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you might as well. It's uh, not holding anything there. Mm -hmm. And it's not holding anything there. So it's going to be that small straight. So you're going to mm -hmm. take the entangle. And you're going to take the 11. The 11 damage. Cool. All yeah. right. Well, let's have a go. The, not the time you want sixes. So I'm going to heal two, which is not enough. So I'm actually going to play my card better defense, better D. Because um, you know you really want that. That's an opportunity. You can make those jokes if you will. Um, <laughs> and show some blame and roll up to five of his dice. You keep the heart. Hold these lights. Come on. And I'm still dead. <laughs> By the luck of the roll. By the luck of the roll. It's me. <laughs> it's uh. That's what it came down to. Like it's. <laughs> it's not what you'd expect but I'm not going to complain about it I'm so salty why did I heal I should have tried to kill you <laughs> don't listen to the dice force them to do what you want them to do <laughs> <laughs> well there it is ladies and gentlemen that is the bar we are in um, not doing as well as many Tremblay would definitely be doing as the lead designer and artist I'm sure he would roll significantly better yep um, but I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to bring this to you. Would you like to play again? I certainly will. So we'll put it to the uh, to the chat. We'll see if anyone else is wanting to join us. Um, you, but the chat's pretty you, quiet tonight. So what's really great about sort of the opportunity for uh, some an extra person to join us is it random or I pray a randomization for targeting. So you'll notice that in the in the Roll phase order. So step five. Yep. Is targeting rolling. So instead of you picking me every time, we would roll and for instance you would be my one to three and the extra person would be my four to five and six. Ah so mm. it's it's a way of, of preventing one person getting Four just absolutely dominated. So mm -hmm. I like it. Especially I, I... when you bring people to the game. If you bring someone to the game, you know they want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so all right so we're gonna let's uh yeah we'll jump back into uh so we just reset i guess isn't it yeah absolutely do we how about what we do is we take a bit of a quick break um yep. we'll reset our heroes uh, be able to choose other heroes as well yep um, you've got a bit of a feel for the game already, so 
pretty hopeful that you'll be able to figure this out. So yeah, we'll just reset our hero notice, maybe take a quick break. Yep. Um, and then come back and play a different random hero. Beautiful. I will chuck it on BRB and we'll be back soon. And welcome back. So I'm going to quickly just jump in and select my random. And I got the Gunslinger. Ooh, Who did gunslinger. you get? I'm going to try that exactly now. I was... Oh, my ah! I went in. Hit people, hit people hard. Um, some really interesting things you need to know about uh, the Gunslinger. You just yep. have quickly have a look at... You've got a passive. Oh, so yeah. During your upkeep phase, um, you get to get yourself a reload. Yep. And reload is something that you get to get and use whenever you want to. And it's a really great way to hurt people more. Okay. Uh, so you just basically add a 1D, like every time you spend one, oh, you know what, just add. And add half two, of 1D to... Oh, okay. So when I do my damage, I, I roll a dice and do half. An extra, yeah, extra half, round it up. So if you do roll 1, to 1, 2, 1, 3, get 2, yep. 4, 2, yeah. Cool. It's monstrous. So you get to shoot people and shoot people a lot. And then your defensive, which is fantastic, duelist. Yep. Have a quick look at that issue for yourself. Basically, yeah, scary. You and your attacker roll one die. If your roll is greater, you may choose either three damage or prevent half the damage rounded up. Or oh, prevent half the damage rounded up. Oh, prevent yeah, so, yep. yeah, it. We, we go to a roll off and you're like, well, no, I'm going to beat you. So, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow, that is good. Answer. That Hopefully is good. Do him justice. <laughs> um, cool. All right, so uh, draw my four. Mm -hmm. I do look forward to playing. This is definitely one that would be more... Uh, I, I can see this being quite fun in person. Mm -hmm. so. 
Um, Dice right. Room Adventures are fantastic as well. Like, honestly, I've got an ongoing game that I've had for ages, but because we've been in lockdown, I haven't been able to play it. Adventures? Um, as in, is it yeah, ongoing? Yeah, so it's Dice Room Adventures. It's like an, a legacy element where you play through a campaign against the... Well, I won't spoil it too much, but basically there's a, a big boss and you verse him, and there's little mini bosses like the Fallen Barbarian, the Fallen Monk, um, and the Fallen Gunslinger as well, and you've got to verse them with your team, and it's great fun. You get upgrades and loot, um, and for, for lack of a better term, imagine you were getting vanity items as such. And that's exactly what every game needed, more of vanity items. Yep. Beautiful. All right, let's see who goes first. All right. <laughs> wow, okay, you can go first. All right. Unless you would like to let me go first. That's your No, no, I'm, I think I'm pretty good with it, so... Oh. Uh, Thanks, I man. don't get my upkeep. Oh, you no, do. So I've, uh, I do. So, during your upkeep, gain one oh, wait, reload. So you, yeah. Actually, I think, yeah, you skip your upkeep, go straight to income. Ah, so, because I'm first player. Yep, cool. Yep. I still get one and draw one, just don't do all the others. I'll just double check it. While I read my cards. Mm hmm Go for it. Um... And everything is so you can play in 2v2 modes as well i think you can play your text turns as oh no you get your upkeep have your upkeep mate oh nope. so i get a reload yeah great um Shot with extra damage first awesome what's that Oh, it's a blue. It's not a white. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 So, I'm going to spend one to play Bounty Hunter. Yep, nice. What does that do? The Bounty Hunter goes up there. Mm-hmm. It just increases the damage potential. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, that's scary. You put that on me. When a player afflicted with this token is attacked by an opponent, the attack increases the damage by one and gains yep. an extra CP. So every time you shoot me, that's monstrous. Yep. Cool. Um, I'm going to sell this. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we're we're going to send it. You know what? We're yeah, just, we're we're just going to... I don't need to muck about. Um, so I've already got the take cover, and we know what evasive does. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, two, three, four, five. I've already got a showdown as well. After targeting opponent, each you each roll one. If you roll, if your roll is equal to or greater, deal seven damage. Otherwise, deal five damage. All right. So we're, we're gonna. We're gonna send send it again. Yeah. That's a that's a large trait. So that is gain two evasive and deal seven damage. So just yeah, we're just we're just gonna do that. That so, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That's a two. That's a mm -hmm. two. And then I can actually also use my reload, which I will. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a seven. That's a that's an extra two. Yes, That's nine so damage. Nine damage, and you've got two of A's already. Great yep. start for you. That's I'm I'm excited for you as well. And I don't have my upgrade anymore, so it's only three dice. Good golly. Um, I heal two of it. So how much was it total? Uh, nine damage. Nine, so I only take seven. Right, I'll pay that. Yep. Please, so thanks, for So before, it's your turn oh. though. Okay. Good. Thanks. Yep. Good. Uh, we're we're also just gonna do a little bit of roulette here. Mm -hmm. So you and I are going to roll. Choose a player, mm -hmm. and then roll one dice. So no, just mm -hmm. me. Sorry, just me. I'm going to roll. Yep. And it results in you getting a bounty. Thanks. That's all right. Here you go. I should have played Appreciate that before, but yeah, uh, well, we we side, live buddy. and we learn, and it is cool. now your turn. So did you spend your CP? Uh, yeah, so I had three. One. That's one. So that's two. Yeah, but then I had three. 
Oh yeah, and you sold because one. I sold a card. Yeah. So, but you spent two. Uh, yeah, and I started. Yeah. You start on two. You get one in the upkeep. Yeah. So I uh I spent spent yeah. a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, four. Yeah, no, back in. Apologies, back in. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Your, your math brain kicked in. I'm math brained. Um. Excited to go back to school on Friday. I'm so I'm going to school on um, Thursday, my friend. Mm. Like my legendary people will be going, so I'm very excited to to see the students again. Thursday, my lovely yeah. wife is going back on Wednesday. Yes, she is. So I'll also be there on that day as well. Oh, so, um, yeah. so you're going back on Wednesday. Yeah. Look. All right. <laughs> I'm going to play my promo cards. So every every character has a promo card. And we get to roll it up. Pew, 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 pew. Give me a six. No. All right. Nothing happens, but I get another card. And I am going to sell Sturdy Blow for an extra CP. And then I'm going to buy an upgrade to Crit Brash. And I'm going to buy an upgrade to Smack. Um, Ow. And. So it means that hopefully I'll be able to hit you better and harder in the future. All right, let's roll it up. Sweet. That is a great start. And four is only three of a kind. Okay, that's if it was four of a kind, that would have been undefendable, and that would have been monstrous. So we're going to try for that, actually. Still nine damage. What's the three of a kind? Um... So oh, four of a kind is undefendable, so you just take some damage. Ow. So it goes down to 7 damage, so rather than the 9 damage I could have done, but it is defendable. So 7 defendable damage. So um, will you get to roll off? Yep. Into the middle. Let's go into the middle here. Go into the middle? Alright, ready? Yeah, ready. Let's do it. 3, 2... Do I beat you? Alright, what do you want to do? Do you want to half it? To... I think is it 3 or 4? It's 4, um, for sure. I'm, I'm going to deal that extra three damage to you. So, yeah, I'll take the seven. Mm -hmm. And you take three. Twelve. Thanks, mate. Appreciate you. Take your dice as well. Three. Ugh, that's monstrous. Not <laughs> into 40 and I've, not, I've had one, two. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're up. I'm up? Beautiful. Yeah. So we're going to kick it off and we're going to grab another reload. I could have evaded. Ah, oh, what was I thinking? Um, Hold up. Um... When a player afflicted by this token is attacked, I oh, know you defended, so you didn't attack. Oh, thank you. Kill, never mind. I've been given some spicy, spicy stuff. Yum. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there. what was that? What did I get here? Sorry. Um, I like them. I like them. Um. Ooh, uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to spend the two. And we're going to upgrade my cook draw. What does that allow you to do? So when I spend it, you may... I may oh, re-roll it. Yeah. Just, Just to add to it. One. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've, yeah. we've got to be careful here. <laughs> it feels like you're a great weapon fighter in D&D &D and you've rolled a one or two. You're like, yeah, I'm have another go at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, cool. So we're going to send it now. This mm -hmm. is the time where we, we go. That's so, outrageous. So that's a, that's nothing yet. No, but it's quite close to a small shred at least. It is. Yeah. So we're going to send it again. I mean, Bucca, that's unfortunate for you that that's happened. It, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. The question is, do I go for the long? Wow, Callum, Boggle has changed a lot since I was a kid. <laughs> David says. Um, uh, it's not Boggle, is it? It's, um... anyway. <laughs> it is definitely more Yahtzee-ish. Yeah, what did I think? Boggle's the one with the letters. Yeah, yeah. well, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, you're right. It is Boggle has significantly changed. <laughs> So we're going to send it again. We're going to send these two. We just need a three and we got it. We got the small. We got the small straight. And that's what we were hoping for. Mm -hmm. So. We're going to roll off. Yep. So we roll off. All right, back in the middle. Let's do this. Ready? Three, two, one. 
that's a that's a me again yeah so Nine is a that's seven, seven, seven. plus mm -hmm. uh, an extra one from my bounty mm -hmm. and i so this mm -hmm. is this is this is in the so we haven't reached defensive yet have we no 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 so um, seven yeah seven but mm -hmm. i'm gonna play now because i'm when a player afflicted uh, afflicts with a token is attacked by opponent mm -hmm. um increase the damage by one so it's, it's mm -hmm. gonna get one and i get a cp yep so then i'm gonna play my eat lead mm -hmm. that cost me one mm -hmm. um so i roll five mm -hmm. and i add the to the total so we're at seven yep. we're at eight at the moment including your yep. bounty um we got one so that's an extra one damage if at least four damage was added inflicted knockdown so you didn't get a knockdown so that's fine so we're at nine damage so we're far. at nine damage and then i add in my gunslinger yep so then i get to re-roll one of these and we'll re-roll this one but i get to re-roll it because i got the quick draw yes. yeah yeah so that's an extra three so that's an extra 12 damage 12. 12, yeah. Mm, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. And I'll take all 12 of it. Yeah, that's one. That hurts. And uh, it's your turn. Hands. I'll hand it over to you. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. It could be my last turn. You're not wrong. Um, whew. So what going. are you doing tonight, uh, Blue Zaza? Bluey Zaza? Ooh. He's he's uh he's gonna try and send it, I think. Oh. That's not what I wanna see. Why not just tip one now? <laughs> just uh, I can turn that into a six and then I've got at least I've got crit bash. No, not oh, yet. Yeah, oh, it's crit smash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't have. I should have gone for the power. Like it, but basically, when it can cast you, meaning you don't get your income and you take two damage. Okay. And then it's your turn, but you don't get any. Um, or you don't get any reloads. Okay. Well. Oh no! Wait, that's an upkeep, isn't it? So you get it in your upkeep. Mhm. Mm but. We've got to Wait, roll so off for my uh, for for the duel. No, it's um undefendable. Oh, it's undefendable. Okay, cool. Plus, get their income base. So you still get. Do you do you get that in your income and your upkeep? Upkeep. I get so it in you my still upkeep. Get that, but you don't get your CP and card. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna send it because yeah. we're in we're in strike here. I'm almost half your damage. Okay. So already have the take cover. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you could have evaded. Sorry, apologies. You could have evaded that two damage. Oh, I could. Mm -hmm. oh, you well, can't. You can't duel it. You could evade. Yeah. It. Uh, so what was it? Two damage. Yeah. So you can put that back on if you want to try and evade nah, it. No, no, I won't. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. But oh. I've already given. I've already taken enough. You already taken off. Cool. Yeah, I hit you for a total of nine damage this game. And what are you on? Big. I'm on 28. You've hit me for a total of 22 damage. All right. So. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It has um, a very eventful thing happening in Victoria. It's Still working. A lot happened in Victoria today. So been an eventful Sunday morning, uh, evening. Yeah, so are you going back this week as well? Mm -hmm. What day are you going back? Uh, uh, Callum, I think you said you were going back on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. About we're going to send them all. Okay. Is that the first or second roll? Second. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah. never this lucky. Like in in actual dust, never this lucky ever. So we're gonna we're gonna send our last roll, just mm -hmm. just to see where we're, where we ended up at. Um. And and you know what? We're gonna spend our last one to just six it. You're a monster. <laughs> You're a genuine monster. 
So I game. I shouldn't have used that tippet. Oh, if I had that tippet, then it wouldn't have been as bad. Okay. Yep. Gain yep. and evade. Uh, bounty. I've already got one. So you've already got, got yeah. Got you one. can't get another one. Uh, a knockdown. knockdown. So you get the knockdown. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Do ten damage. Mm -hmm. If you spend a reload, you may re-roll that dice one time. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can already do that anyway. Yep. So I can already do that. So we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna send this one. For, for another three, so that's 10, 13, 14. 13, 14 undefendable damage. 14. So the damage you add is always the same type of yep. damage as you're using. So Beautiful. it's undefendable 14 damage. Thanks, mate. Really appreciate that. You're more than welcome. Two, three, plus one. <laughs> Good. Uh, if you did that to me now, I'd be dead. Yep. Then it's your turn. Give me a quick question. Uh, spend two or skip my offensive roll phase. Good. Um, okay, so I'll start my turn by taking a card. Um, David says, loves the uh, loving the tunes. We up for an Inish rematch on Tuesday. Yeah, I don't think we've chosen a game for the Tuesday, so. Absolutely, I'm happy to do that because I'm being thoroughly pantsed in this game. So I love, one of my favorite things is bringing a game to people and losing. It's one of my favorite things, but I don't like losing by this much, so. Anyway, I'm playing feeling good to give myself some health, and I didn't, and that's shocking. So I get an extra one health. Big, big spender. <laughs> hey, oh. big spender. All right. Get rid of better D, and then I'm going to... To get one? Yeah, get one, and I'm going to spend that one immediately to get rid of knockdown. <laughs> Have you been getting your extra CP for every time you damage? Oh no! Me, by the way? Oh, so yeah. That's so another that's... two CP for yourself, mate. Uh, oh, I got it first time I did it. I got it first time I did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna see if I can hit you now. Woo! Let's do it. All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt on you being able to hit me. It's 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 going to be how much you hit me for. Cool. I'm gonna hit you for a total of nine damage. Let's okay. duel. <laughs> It's not defendable. It is defendable. So let's go. Ready? Hey, yeah. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> um, so we'll deal the extra three damage to you. Yep. Yep. Cool. Take nine though. Thanks, mate. Cool. And um, we'll roll. Actually, and uh, sorry, we'll roll for an evasion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. That makes sense. Oops. No. Yeah, come on. Don't roll anything good. Yes, suffer. You can go again if you want to. You can spend all oh, yeah. in one turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so it's just... it's What, what is the, the evade doing? One or oh. two, and you will... Yeah, we'll spend one. another one. Yes. You're kidding me. Good. Go again. Um, yeah, we're, we're just, we're just going to send it. We've got it. <laughs> Nine damage is, is, is you know... <laughs> <laughs> My soul is being crushed here. <laughs> oh, I'm on 12 and you're on 41. <laughs> you done? Oh, you're a monster. My, my turn? Yeah. I, I, I can't really say I'm doing much, really, at this point. You, you just, yeah. Just. So I'm going to spend my two. Spender, cool. spender. And we're going to upgrade the revolver to, to a revolver two. Um. <laughs> This is this is this is terrifying. So we're gonna we're gonna send it. <laughs> That's not healthy. That's not a healthy start. <laughs> I am aware that there's like unless you roll, it's, it's not a natural ultimate. But uh, as you can see, I don't have any cards in my hand. So if you roll, here All we right. go. I'm one more time. Come on. All right. Aria. So we get the dead eye. To so inflict knockdown. And six damage. Uh, plus another one. Yep, That's seven, seven damage. damage. And I get a CP. What? Oh. It's undefendable. So. Yeah. But my... Oh, yeah. Go on. Roll that. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. Fair, fair. Fair. Nice. One. So an extra one damage. Oh, but I get to re-roll it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go on. One. One. <laughs> 
Cool. I'm on four health, and you're on 41. We're and, in strife here. And it's your turn. So. Yeah, cool. Thanks, mate. Uh, I'm going to start my turn. I'm going to sell that so I can get an extra CP so that I can pay for this stupid knockdown so I can actually have a chance at attacking you. Have that. Get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what does knockdown do anyway? Oh, it's, you cost it two to get... i to pay two CP to be able to actually have a turn. Oh, God. Um, cool. <laughs> oh well, only way to go is go big. <laughs> Get a stun. Come on, two of them. Give me two. Give me two. The only way I'm gonna actually have a chance here. It's not what you want. It's really not what you want. But I do get to do overpower, which means I can do some serious damage here. Let's do it. A total of what is it? 15 damage, which means you get a concussion, which means you're going to skip your offensive. And we're going to have a roll off. This is 16 damage coming your Or 15, sorry, 15 damage coming your way. Yep. You ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Go! Go! The 15 16 damage. damage. 16. Yeah, 15, 15, 15. Take 15 damage. All right. That is. And I got. What did I get? Killing. I got the. Concussion, but that just so yeah. that means you, you don't get an income base. So yep. I can put it on your board if you'd like. And nah, it's, it's, it's coming off. So I still get my upkeep. So I get my yeah. reload. Yes, and then I just don't get my income. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically, I just I just send it. Yeah, do four damage. You gonna give me some take cover? I um can. Mm-hmm. Or I can send it. Nice. I hope you get nothing. <sighs> um, so far, that's not a lot. No, it's, it's not a terrible amount. Mm -hmm. but, but that does it for me. That's a lot of not great. Yeah. So yeah. then we roll it off. Cool. I need to win this for a chance here. Yes. Sweet. So it's five health damage, yeah? Uh, so, yeah, five damage. Six. Which so the up to six. Um, but hold yeah. on. Oh, I'm going to use my reload as well. Yeah. This is strife. Okay. Um, so that's another three. So that is nine. nine. Cool. I actually don't think that I can... Unless I roll three hearts to save six health, I'm dead. Yep. Build the suspense, ladies and gentlemen. Build some suspense. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Give me one. Yes! Oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> I'm dead again. Wow, I gunslinger. Mean, thoroughly, yeah. Just, I mean, getting an ultimate off both games yeah. has been pretty hurtful. I can't <laughs> lie. That helps. Yeah. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Yahtzee, Death Yahtzee. Um, and yeah, look, it's... It's certainly not... Um... <laughs> It's it, it's less skill and strategy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like there's there's goals that you can roll for. So like things like like there is a lot of skill in it. But I know rolling for overpower is probably a really great strategy for um for the barbarian. Like yeah, always roll for an ultimate. But listen to your dice. And rolling for overpower is great. Yeah, dishing damage as much as you can. Really great way to do it. Stun. If I can stun you, I'm in a pretty good sp spot because it means I get two offensive roll phases. Um, so what's the Shadow Thief? Shadow Thief's all about stealing people's. So there's the first of all, there's the ability Shadows, which means if you go on Shadows, you can't take damage. It's pretty beast. Whoa! But they're all about stealing um, CP and then doing damage equivalent to CP. So for instance, um, so you can actually steal people's with Pickpocket. You actually sort of... You can take CP from people. Um, 
and then for instance do your half half the value well, I'm trying to think which one of them one of these is like do half your damage half your CP as damage is ridiculous yeah. yeah this one here so your small straight does half your damage and then or yeah it's it's then do your or your large straight is half full damage so he can sort of have I think he has a maximum of 15 supposed to be I think you get a maximum of 15 on the dials or whatever so mm -hmm. you can do 15 damage a turn just because he's got CP and then he can just make it rain um if you come over then you've got the pyromancer which is just a damage dealing monster uh which is up here now yeah it's just a damage dealing monster like when she defends she just does more damage um that's her whole thing gaining fire and mastery get more putting a bit of burn on people burn is pretty brutal two damage yep. every turn hmm. and you can have yeah so you can have one of those um and then ninja like smoke bombs ninjutsu so you can actually stack your ninjutsu to do different things delayed poison so they do after but you can have two of those on the go at any stage then there's other characters like naira um who has a companion and the companion can take damage for you uh triant who's really good at healing and mitigating damage see if there's a list of all the heroes in here the monk which is really great he can sort of spend well, he's got a thing called chi and he can spend all of his chi to mitigate damage or he can spend all of his chi just to just bulk up how hard he hits you oh, yeah. um yeah and but all of the characters and you can see some of them just around the edges of the board they all have a very different style um and different goals and different strategies that you can play with but this little tts module great way to open up people's minds and just be like hey try this out because this is a great little game yeah well there's even adventures in here so um, it blows my mind that i can play adventures and so adventures is really interesting so what you do is it actually sets up a portal crawl um for instance and you just sort of take them like these and it sets you up and you've got to sort of cut there'll be I'm sure somewhere it'll be so, so you're not fighting each other in this one no so you actually go your way through so everybody and you'll start with say for instance if i take my barbarian and put him here you take your um guns i'm pretty sure and put them there and you work your way through the portal crawl um this is a really basic example of what one would look like and they've got actual scenarios to set out and you've got to collect the parts of the dice to flip that over so that you can burst the boss Ah. every time you go over so i go to here i flip it over as it a thing that happens and then usually that's summoning for instance a easy monster so we take no these guys we take one of these guys and we fight this dude and we all fight together so i fight him i have my turn but he'll go first because he's got ah. strike okay um, so it's kind of like we're all going our own little campaign together yeah and you can come with me to help me out um or for instance if there was another way you could actually go out here instead if you're like oh i reckon cal has got that all under control um you could go this way and out to here instead so are we allies or are we just yeah yeah it's working together to sort of um verse the boss and sort it all out um and as i said i was just saying before this is an example of a of the fallen barbarian and he does he's a beast um and it's a really interesting way to do it so for instance yeah and so when you roll for him because it's a everybody versus a computer sort of system yep um, you roll for him and you can see his numbers and they're his priorities so the highest he'll try and take the highest number yep priority because he wants to do the, usually the most damage so for instance if he rolls his dice up and he gets an 18 or if he gets this he can trigger that but if he got an extra one, he'd probably trigger the skull bash and different things to do different damages. Yep. And it's a really interesting way to just change up the game. It's so, the same basic game as I sort of was talking about. There's loot tables, extra tokens, and different kind of ways to hurt you. Um, these are the different, for instance, right here. Here's the first two. Um, that's how you would set it up. Yep. The very first two. Um, yeah. It's, scenarios so it's only got two of the first scenarios so the portal crawl and then boosting the boss battle and what that looks like yep 
Um, and yeah, it's it's a great little little game, I think. And what's over here? What's the? Yeah, so this one here, for instance, once you um, at the end of a campaign or at the end of a scenario, you might have some gold. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to take and purchase, say, a legendary card. And for instance, a legendary card is so you upgrade your twice as wild. It's now free to change the two two dice, or search your deck for any card you want, then shuffle it into like put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Health potion. Choose a hero, heal them five. Because you don't start in the scenarios, for example, if you're playing even on normal mode and both of us are playing together, we only get a starting health of 18. Uh oh, wow. And yeah, so it's... and as we go through, so we fight this monster, we kill him. We don't reset, yep. we just go, we continue on to the next battle. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. And all of the damage and all of the things that sort of, if it, they've inflicted us with bleed, um, we've got to have to carry bleed into the into the next match. Into the, yeah, unless we're able to get rid of it. Correct. And as I was sort of talking about before, here's a example of the iconography and what it looks like and what it does. It's a bit of explanation, which is means tiny writing, but that's okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's you know pretty straightforward. Yeah. And then so different level monsters. So that's a level one monster. That's a level two monster. What a level three monster could look like, and a level four monster would look like. So a level four monster comes into the game. You don't burst them till it's the last portal. They have thirty health and eight CP and go first. Mm. If they roll straights, they do half of their CP as damage. Like it's 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 mental. Um, yeah. So they hurt. They 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 yeah, really get you. Yeah. yeah, they're terrifying. Like for instance, this guy here, if he fails to hit you. Um, yeah, he gets himself, he gets to go into shadows, which means for a whole turn, nobody can hit him until the next, until the start of his next turn, or until uh, the end of his next turn. Wow, and can you, so, so when there's cards like remove a, a, a status, that, that would yeah. remove that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one you probably want to target, you're like, no, I don't want you in shadows, you in shadows is a bad touch, it's a mm -hmm. bad touch. But yeah, look, this is, it's, it's an expanding universe, it's an expanding game, the artwork is awesome, I'm a big fan of his style, um, it's fun, it's simple, and it's just it's just good times to be fair. But this and, uh, guy over here, he's the the big bad of the um Dice Throne Adventures universe. Um and he is Yeah, this guy here. Uh, yeah, I won't yeah. tell you too much. And there's like the fallen monk and the fallen gunslinger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's mm -hmm. insane. <laughs> yeah. There's quite this a lot to it. And so then what's the is the Marvel adding to this or is the Marvel sitting So the Marvel's it? adding extra characters. So there'll be I, I believe like it's a speculation at its finest. Um there'll be eight new characters um, to be announced. And we don't know anything too much about it at the moment because they've got to keep chip cards close to their chest, but they've been really excited about this program and this project for a while. And hopefully it'll be amazing. We don't know who they're gonna bring in, whether it's villains or heroes, um, and look if you want to know more, the Dice Throne community will, it will be definitely talking about it until the cows come home. Uh, and you'll, I assume, I, I'm, they've told me, they've already said it that it's it's backwards compatible. Yep. Um, so you'll actually be able to play the the, the Marvel characters in Dice Throne Adventures or against Dice Throne characters. Which will be so fun. You yeah. could say, for instance, if you love the Pyromancer, so you can potentially verse maybe Iron Man if he's in the game. Like, pretty interesting stuff. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, we're just going to do a quick check. So, we're at 942 um, and mm -hmm. it's 930. Um, are you up for another something or am I going to be soloing? Uh, that could... does to me, I do believe. Does do you? Beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll uh, I'll do a quick BRB just to change the game title. We'll say goodbye to Callum, um, and what we might do is head back to Canvas to to finish off the night back in Canvas. All right. Well, thanks, Callum. Thanks for teaching us a uh, dice throne. And always a pleasure. For sure. We'll see you on Tuesday night, I believe. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait. All right. Thanks. Yeah. We'll be back in a few minutes.
And welcome back. So we are in the final stages of the upload. Um, oops, I'm not sure what happened there. So we're at 963. So we've got another 400 to go. Um, last time we played Canvas was earlier in the night. I think we got um, to about 400 on two plays. Um, so if anyone does want to jump in, jump on the Discord. Um, I'll add that into the chat. Um, and we can add you into the next one. But until such time, um, let's just jump straight into, and I've realized that I have done the setup without actually selecting. So we're gonna quickly reset that. Leave the top menu open. Um, and there was actually something we wanted to quickly explore. Canvas. Don't need my glasses on anymore. Um, so what's this deck here? Oh, it's Ah, oh, it's the uh so it's artwork, so it's just more 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 artwork we can add to it. Cool. You know, that's that's lovely. Oh, I'm guessing they come with the game as well, so not sure what happened there, but let's add it in. So we're gonna we make it yeah, we make it difficult for ourselves. So let's add all the boxes. We're going to hit the setup button. Adding in all the cards. And let's have a look. So we've, we've sent it up. Um, chat seems a bit quiet tonight. So rather than asking chat what version we're going to play, we're just going to do another solo mode. Um, so basically what this happens rather than playing against Vincent, which kind of um, is like a, a an AI version, um, we're going to burn cards. Any cards we don't want actually get burnt rather than utilized. So we definitely see something we want there, which is the shading. And let's see, so the shading is actually useful for three cards. So definitely going to grab and snatch, snatch that card. But let's have a look what we've got. The three pairs, so the rhythm. Wowzers, that is a card. That is a very big card, but it kind of almost precludes you from going the gold. Um, um, within this game, one of the biggest things I've noticed is that that, that, that gold is definitely going to be helpful. Um, to, to push things up, but it um, ultimately takes up one of the spaces. So it's going to be difficult to actually get that one if we're going for some gold cards. So then let's move in to proximity. Um, score uh, adjacent. Awesome. So if they're adjacent to each other, um, they score. doesn't matter which order. Awesome, so just so long as they're adjacent to each other. Um, this one, so emphasis on the, on the wrong syllable. We're going with uh, exactly one, which is good because we actually want... Oh, so we don't so much want the pairs. Go adjacency for two pairs of elements where paired elements are in adjacent swatches. All right. The Jason's is going to be a bit harder for us to achieve. But we actually get that, so that's one pair. Um, not going to help us out so much with that. So let's um. Hmm. Oh, Callum's still here. <laughs> Callum's, uh, Callum, Callum was still with us, sneaking about, lurking in the shadows, as he does. So we're going to definitely grab dreams. Um, but as we did before, let's grab this and this. We're just going to chuck them up. Yeah, actually, before we do that. Um, we're going to, uh, let's just cheat a little bit. We'll grab these cards. We're back to the, 
this one, so we want that one, we want that one, we want the ones below it. Right, so we'll move these up first. Do ten. That one, we'll grab that one. Okay. Cool. Um, the reason we did that is we then want our dotter. So the dotter is then going to mean that we can snap the card too. So there we go. We have set that up. Awesome. I have grabbed dreams. We're going to refresh the artwork. Um. I'm then also going to grab that, refresh the artwork. So it is going to mean we're missing out on that, which is not a good outcome, but we'll see what we can do. Um, actually, we could flip this. That would actually then result like that. We are going to grab this to get the pairing that we want. Um. Ideally, we want to grab. Ooh, this would actually work well for us. It would give us the proximity. I think that's going to be the best option for us. Yep, yeah, so let's send the two. And it's going to remove those two, and we're going to grab this one. Press the art. So then I'm going to make my first art piece and <laughs> it's just called mistake um, because I don't think I've started this off well. What background is that going to go well? You know what? We're going to go with a little bit of somber here. So we're going to send it here. And in true Scrubs fashion, we're going to call out the mistake. Because that is what I have done. I did not start this game well. At all. Um, and I don't even know how to make sense of whatever this is. Um, I was not thinking. And we just let our... Let our fears of the judges um, take control. So in terms of... Pairing, there's no pairing there. It has no pairing. It does have the proximity, so we are going to score a blue. Um, it has exactly one, so we're gonna we're gonna score on that. And it has two pairs of adjacent. No, it doesn't. It 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 doesn't. So no silver, but it does achieve one. So not really a a great start to it. Um, which is, you know, we're, we're a struggling artist. We've got to start somewhere. <laughs> so we're getting into it. Um, we've got the first one off the rank. So we want to get um, some pairs and we want to try and get some other things. So we can actually flip this one open. So um, direction. So lost becomes direction. That would actually be pretty good because we would end up with two pairs. If we use this one. Um, and it actually would it would achieve our two pairs adjacent as well. We definitely want this one. The question is, is are we actually going to be able to do anything uh, outside of that? And we could get the proximity if we got this one. Um, got this one first. We then don't need that so it could be covered up don't need either of those two so we're gonna we're gonna send it again we're gonna grab these two and we're gonna send them off and we're gonna grab this one. um so it can be open or it could be opening 
Um, we're gonna we're gonna start with this, and I think that that's a uh, not a bad move. And then we're gonna take our peaceful. It's gonna be peaceful direction, so we're gonna refresh that. I get an extra token back because I took from the first column. We've got our peaceful direction. Um, and you know what? I think I think we're just gonna send it. We're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna make two extremely quick pieces of art here. I, do, I don't think this is a normal recommendation. Normally, I would uh, definitely want to think about it. I think it looks nice on this background here. We want to move it over to here. Mm, I'm less in love with that one. What about if there's... Is there another one over here? I'm less in love with most of them. So we're just going to sit and we're going to leave that one there. So we'll lock it in. And we have peaceful direction. So obviously uh, the inspiration for this work is always a gamble with me. But I think within this uh, this artwork, we, we certainly have um, some more direction. Starting with the uh, with the mistake, we definitely get that direction and, and we know that that direction's home. We've got some beauty and, 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 the, um, uh, and the signs that uh, can often confuse us, but we follow that direction, we know we're gonna end up at home. How's that for a, an, an explanation? Is that, uh, that tickling anyone's fancy? So in terms of pairs, we did not achieve the three pairs, which is unfortunate. We were we were not there, but we do get the um, we do get that proximity, which is good. That is a, a good outcome for us. We don't have exactly one, which is unfortunate, but we do have two adjacent uh, two pairs of adjacent. So we're going to score the purple on that one, um, and we aren't going to score anything else because. That's uh that's the game. <laughs> um ooh, I'm not liking this uh this round. We um thought we had some direct just the direction. We um we tried to we tried to please the people, it did not work. We tried to please the critics, it did not work. So what are we gonna do for this last one? Well I think Jason's. I think we definitely have to take the lost because we need some extra tokens. I'm gonna refresh it in. And I've got four cards that we can get from this. So um none of these None of these are really gripping me, though this does because we've got the adjacency and if we actually were able to get another adjacency say from like this or this we could actually score two in one round and that's not a bad idea so let's let's do that get another piece let me refresh it um and We want this piece. So we're gonna send these two to dispose of these two. Grab this one and we're gonna refresh the artwork. Alright, so um so we're gonna flip this one over. It's gonna be morning. That's not what we wanted because it covers so not going to achieve exactly what I wanted to achieve but two more cards I just don't see what more we can be achieving there's no golds so the lack of gold really hurts really 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 hurts um We can try for two more, but I just don't see much. I 
be much benefit in that. No. So we're just going to grab all these. And we've got our late obstacle. Um, so late obstacle. Well. Completing our final artwork in today's well into this session's piecing we were definitely rushing through this one um, let's let's just say that um the, the the old brain is not working as it should which is you know a different excuse to what i used at the beginning where it was my brain hadn't warmed up yet but um we're, we'll find any reason and rationale so three pairs of uh they have to be together three pair if the painting has three pairs of matching elements you can make so they don't have to be together so we actually oh this one we've got uh two two and two um it has two proximities um it does not meet meet the uh static um, and two pairs of adjacent, um, it does, no, it does not, it has one pair of adjacent, um, so it doesn't unfortunately meet, right, it also has no gold, so we're not gonna score anything on that front, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I am not entirely happy with our, um, with our performance on this one um don't think we showed up we uh we we definitely let uh let the let the old nerves get the better of us um so we're gonna score for that first one we get grand total of three the blue we did get all of them so we we got the 12 that's good that's that's you know it's not entirely terrible. <laughs> exactly one, we get a, a whopping one. Uh, and another two. I think this is probably the worst I've ever gotten. We get three from the other one. So that is three plus 12 plus two plus one plus three. And that is not a good total. That is, uh, that is 21. <laughs> That is definitely the lowest I have ever scored. Uh, I don't even know if that goes on the board. Let's have a look. Um, I'm not sure why that's not. That's it. No. Uh, yeah, 21. So that is a participation award. So um, I definitely think these artworks with definitely participation award worthy nothing really more because heck i don't even know what i could make from them so <laughs> it was certainly not a strong performance on that one so let's um let's jump in uh before we jump into something else let's have a look we're at uh, 1079, which means we've probably still got... Mm, let's jump into Super Marche. Um, so we're going to change the game name, and we're going to call this one Super Marche. Um, and we've already played those two games, so we're just going to change it to be Super Marche on here. We've changed up the, the stream title, um, and we're just going to jump into Super Marche. So this was one we played a couple of weeks ago. It is a print and play. A super great game. Um, print and play, super, super easy, um, and it goes in rounds for the customer deck. Um, so six rounds. So in this game, we are playing as um, a supermarket holder. In fact, we can even type our names in here. So we're, we're, we're going to do the pun. Uh, so we're going to call it all the mart. So we're, we're calling it 
Um, it is the the Aldi Mart. Um, has a fun pun on Aldi. Um, shh, don't don't tell them. <laughs> so in the game, um, turn order is fairly straightforward. Let me pop this out and get into there. We've got the preparation phase, delivery phase, stocking phase, customer, and waste phases. So we're just going to jump into this one. I won't do a big teach on it. I have done a teach on it before. Um, so boost this up in size, make it nice and big, put that next to it. Perfect. Um, so I have done the teach on this before. Um, so check out our YouTube channel and you can see that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to... Let's just jump straight into it. So we shuffle this deck, shuffle this deck. And we start off in the preparation phase. So the preparation phase, we deal out five cards. Um, it doesn't have any scripting on there. I do want to get into doing some of the scripting um, just to, you know, clean it up. Uh, and then we're going... Oh, and then flip two. So we've got Chad and Chris we know are coming through. We don't know about the other ones. We find them out when we get into the customer phase. So... Um, or to shuffle that so we're going to grab one off the top flip her over and that is our cost for the turn so um it is important to note you know the cost can vary throughout the game but usually it's about half whatever the price is so um dairy is four so we usually it's around about two on a bad on a bad buy cycle it's three on a good buy cycle it is one so actually funnily enough yeah so here it is actually one the dare is really good to buy, but it does expire after three rounds. If we ever go below zero at all, game over, we're bankrupt and we're out. So the first stage, delivery phase, I'm going to be buying from the distributor or the distribution center. And this is just as much math and numbers as... There's more numbers than uh, than anything we've played, so from the, we'll see how well this actually goes out in terms of in terms of play. Um, so we know that both Chris and Chad are likely to get produce, dry goods, less so. Produce and bakery, we definitely need to have. So bakery does go out every round and produce, we need. We definitely need some of that produce. Now produce is a little more expensive than we would want. But we're going to buy two produce, so that's four. We're going to buy... Bakery is just so expensive. Um, we're going to buy... No, we're just going to buy one bakery because it shouldn't be that expensive. Um, dry goods is so cheap, but I just can't afford it. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna let's do it. We'll buy two dry goods just because they are just so good. Um, and that leaves me with nothing else to buy. Um, cool, the produce. Uh, expires every round. Uh, bakery is going to expire after second round, so that's going to go there after round four. So that completes the buy phase. I just can't buy anything more. So then we're in the the stocking phase. Now the it is fully stocked. You can only have max of fifteen in the stock in, in the on the floor and a max of twenty in the stock room. So we just move straight back or straight on to the customer phase where. I get to choose which customer is going to come in first. Um, and, oh, and if I want to put something on special, um, I'm I'm not going to this round, just because I just I, I just fear that we're going to have some some extras. So um, we're not going to put anything on special this round. Um, and Chris is going to come in first. So Chris comes in, um, and they grab the dice. And we roll it. And they rolled a seven. Now, um, that is a dry goods. We can either grab that dry goods and put it into the first drop, but they have couponing on there. So if we did a seven, they would actually if they could actually use that coupon to get a three and an eight. 
So that would be Rodrius and uh, dry goods. But you know what? We've got the dry goods, so let's actually just take the dry goods and we re-roll. That's another seven. That's another dry good. Um, but we're going to actually convert that one into dry good and the produce. Just because if we run out and we ever can't provide enough for them, they will leave dumping this, their trolley and causing us no amount of pain. Um, can't use the, so we've already used the coupon, can't use it again, but we can just stock this up. That's not a bad thing for us because buying three dry goods actually yields us $30 plus the $3 for the produce. So that bumps us all the way up. Chris was a very customer and yeah so if we weren't able to succeed they would take all the things they had on their cart um just like they've bashed it um and would lose nine dollars like they've kind of stolen the goods or, or, or like um but we're quite lucky in that they did not do that so Chris has come through um now we can either flip and then choose another card or we have actually an option to burn one of these face down cards and uh, restock our shelves. Now we have no dry goods left um, and Chad does actually have a chance of getting it. So we definitely actually don't want to risk that. So we will actually burn this bottom card um, and we will restock. We can only do this once. We're going to restock here and we'll restock that. And he's got a good chance of getting produce. And it expires at the end of the round, so we definitely want all the produce to go. So then, flip another one. We choose who we want to go in. We're going to get Chad to go in first. Oh, that's flipping. All right. So that is a nine. So that is a frozen good. Um, or we can do his one coupon, which is a five and an eleven. So that would be a bakery and a dry wood. Let's do it. You know what? He's going to use his. He's going to use it, and we're going to try and get that in. So then he's got one more item to get. That is a seven, which is a produce. That works out pretty well. I reckon that was actually a good buy for us. So 10 plus 4 plus 3, that is 17, bringing us up to 52. So we're going to have some more money next round, which is fantastic because that was definitely what um, hindered us last round in terms of getting everything. We just need to make sure we get there. Um, we can't restock again, so we definitely have to, so we just have to take. Um, we've got Margaret and we've got Martha. Martha is definitely more expensive if we don't fulfill. So if she runs us out of stuff, um, I'd much rather Martha run us out. Uh, sorry, um, Margaret run us out rather than Martha. Oh, didn't mean to roll that. So that is a four. She does have a coupon, so we can actually just straight away fill her up on that coupon if we wanted to. Um, four would be a bakery. Um, on the single item or it'll be a five and a nine which would be a bakery and a dairy and you know what we want to do that let's use that coupon straight away um, it's important to note that coupons can't actually put you put the customer over um, their total buyer so um, this was definitely a much better option four and four is eight that's an extra eight points to us beautiful and that's margaret and martha done so then Margaret is our last to enter the store today. So this is a print and play. You can get it for free um, on, uh, uh, I think Board Game Geek does have a link for it. Um, but leaving a donation for the creator definitely is advised. Um, they've done a great job within this. It is you know, rather simplistic, but I've actually enjoyed playing this. And I've played this quite a few times. So we're going to roll. It gets a two, um, which is a frozen item. No, there's no couponing, so we can't do anything with them. So we're going to roll again. 
the four. They just wanted those frozen, frozen goods. That's them done. That is 14 points to us. $14. Not going to play complain about $14.74. And we're off to a great start. So $74 in the bank. We actually met all of ours bar one where we had to restock. Um, and we've still got some stuff in, but this is where we get to the waste phase. So anything that we did not sell that expires at the end of the round, so anything that was in this uh, this item here or the produce, we have to pay one for. So that is three items that are expiring. So we pay three dollars. Right. Um, and that kind of represents, you know, the cost of um, having a staff member going to the shelves and and, and, re, and 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 removing them from the shelves. So we cost us three and we lose those items. So those are items that we bought that we just were not able to sell. Um, waste phase brings us back up to the preparation phase. We grab another five, flip card over and flip two. So we're gonna flip and uh, flip. Um, but now we actually have money, so we can actually buy quite a bit of stuff. Now we've got produce, um, so we definitely want to be buying some produce. Three, four. I don't think we need more than four. Produce doesn't seem too heavy on here, but they could have produce. Um, so 67. Um, dry goods. Certainly we need some dry goods, and it's actually at a reasonable price. So we're going to buy three, four... Five. I'm gonna buy five dry goods after end of round four. So that is end of round five. Sorry, and these actually go into there as well. Um, so you can see everything in this sector is actually going to expire. So we could actually get a little token over top of that to say that we've already done that, but not. So it's up to round two. Um, frozen, yeah, we definitely need some more frozen, but it is more expensive than normal, so I'm just gonna actually buy two and it never expires, so that is 10. Um, and it's definitely more intense music than we probably should have, so let's go to the magic shop. There we go, that's uh, that's definitely more suitable music um so um we'll have a quick look uh has that been increasing i want to make sure that that's increasing it only takes eight seconds for it to, to reload oh sorry 10 seconds Oh, yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, so it's been it's been working in the background and we just didn't see it. So it's up to 1168. Cool. That's that's good. That is definitely a much better <laughs> number than I thought I was getting.